yeah, a lot of struggles were had. Okay, let's get into it then. A brand new custom map on Caesar 3. This one was sent to me just a few days ago from Atelwyn. It's Bergen, and it's based on the actual layout of Bergen, apparently. Bergen? Bergen? I'm not sure. In any case, what do we have in front of us? Average province, northern. There's no military activity here. That's very rare, so our only challenge is going to be building a good city, which is absolutely fine. You are, there is absolutely no prerogative to put military on your map. It's not necessary, but it can be used in its own challenging ways. So, 20 years, 5,000 people, 70 prosperity, 70 favor, all sounds quite doable. Let's check it out. So I have looked at this map already. I was told to give it a quick uh, peek over before I played it, and look at it I did. And there are a few things that immediately stood out to me about what this whole map is going to be about. But we'll take a look around, run down on what we have available, and how we're going to tackle it. So first and foremost, northern map always puts a pressure on food production. And that's going to be quite a theme on this map. We have a small bit of arable land here, and an even smaller bit of arable land here. We do have fishing available, but it's very weird. There are some fishing spots, they're very spread out, and the locations for fishing are really poor. And maybe get two wharves here, I don't know if that wharf would work or not. One maybe here. I don't think we could get any along here. Good place for wharves here, but it's nowhere near the fishing spot. And if I were to fish here, it'd be nowhere near anywhere good for housing. Maybe sneak in one or two over here? Excellent fishing spot here for about four of them. The reason fishing is so good in the northern map is because farms are so crap. Farming on a northern place is very slow, whereas uh, fishing doesn't matter where it is. Look at Mr. Moneybags with his 375. That's right. I actually have some starting denarii. It's still a bit of a tight-fisted amount, but with that I don't have to slumlord from the get-go. So that's going to be fun. I'll immediately start. Giving my people food and services, no need to relegate myself to small tentville from the get-go. Right, the layout of this is pretty rugged. Heck, it's more rugged than Lugdunham. A lot of these small raised areas here that aren't great for housing, but there's very little space at all. So I might be forced to use these. That puts a lot of pressure on where does water go, where do the services go, what's the food situation. For example, I couldn't water anything here unless I used this valuable fishing area. That's going to be a bit of a challenge, but not one that we have to start ourselves off with, because we are given a very modest area that we can build on here. Can and will. So, what do we have available? All water, all medical. Uh, there's no large temple, which is fine. Given the choice, I would never build a large temple unless it's part of a patrician area. And the oracles do me just fine, as long as we have access to marble, that'll be fine. No local pacification, so we won't hear the great barbarian lines here, but there are also no natives to pacify, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, very notably, there is no access to the hippodrome here. Not that there's a huge amount of space for a hippodrome, you could shove one here, or if you're feeling really coy, maybe you could fit one here? It's the size of three coliseums, so... No. Mm, ah, okay, you could fit one here. Or here. But the point is moot, we do not have the Hippodrome. That somewhat limits us in the patricians that we can have, but with a prosperity rating of 70, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. No Hippodrome means no earthquakes, we're safe. It also means I can't uh, set fire to or bro uh, blow down my Hippodrome somehow, which is nice for me. Looks like we have all governmental buildings, although we'll never be able to get a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, one of those. A triumphal arch. Triumphal arches won't be applicable here because there's nowhere to send my military. Something's missing here. Plaza. There's no access to plaza, so it won't be trivial to get myself even good plebeian housing. I'll need to rely on space-consuming gardens or statues, but thankfully we have access to both of those. Plaza, I call it pro clutch, pra eh, clutch Plaza for a reason. Try saying that several times back to back quickly. Um, it's not that expensive, but it boosts up desirability by a massive amount. Well, four, but that stacks pretty well. 
But the most important thing is it doesn't take up any space, it just uses an existing bit of road to give that desirability. Plaza is excellent, so... It's a very nice challenge on a map to remove plaza. It's a very uh, horrifying challenge to remove plaza and statues. I did I had that on a recent map. What was the situation there? Anyway, it was grim for getting um, desirability up. No military whatsoever, except for the prefecture. Which is funny, because prefects are not strictly needed on a northern map, because there's no risk of fire. But, there's one, two... Just two? Okay, well there are two sets of wolves here. Is it really just two? Hmm, <laughs> I'd hate to be surprised and find some hidden uh, hidden in the forests. But, the only way I have of pacifying those are with prefects, or by using our gladiators or lions. I'll probably use prefects, we've done it before, but it's going to be an expense for when I expand into an area. Thankfully, they're already cordoned off, so unless I delete the forest here, or bridge over to here, we won't have to deal with the wolves, although they will be howling, because I didn't remove their voice files on uh, on this copy of the game. Chillin saying, hey Jake, well, welcome. Uh, what about goods that we have locally available? So, three types of food, so patricians won't be limited by that. Uh, no local oil, no local wine, and no local marble. And of course, we are in, well, we're in Bergen, but our cartographers seem to think that we're in Lindum. Lindum, the funny thing is, Lindum has a pretty interesting trade setup, but Lindum is used so often that it's just like, uh, kind of know it by, like the back of my hand by now. Anyway, we can sell a small amount of fish and a moderate amount of clay and pottery. But if we go by sea, we're able to sell lots of iron, a modest amount of IKEA furniture, and a small amount of weaponry. You need to go by sea if you want patricians, because that's the only way to get access to the wine and the oil. Hang on, really? The oil? Oh yeah, it's the only way to get oil. Okay. Um, on top of that, additional fruit and that marble that we're going to need for oracles. So we will need a dock set up. There's no getting around that. We wouldn't even be able to hit this prosperity target without those oil imports. So that's worth keeping in mind. Ah, welcome, Atelwyn. Yeah, we're just getting wound up now. Uh, what else is there to say about this map? Yeah, that starting salary means I can actually start building up a city, and I will do so, probably here. Um, right, so what's the main challenge of this, especially if you are um, not a player of Caesar 3, but just someone that watches the VODs? It, uh, I think it's good practice to actually explain what the challenge is on a map so you can follow along a bit better. I don't know, I'm so far removed from ever not knowing this game that I can't really relate. But, the main issue on this map, well there are three main issues actually. One is the time limit. This is very tight, we've only got 20 years. It's not a huge amount of prosperity to get, but we cannot dally around with only 20 years to go. We're going to have to start amassing prosperity uh, lickety spit. It's nowhere near as tight as that Prosperous Times map. But on this map, the second challenge is food. It's... Well, one farm can feed 160 people on a northern map. And we have a population of 5,000 to get. So how many farms would you need to feed 5,000 people if each farm feeds 160? Your time to answer starts now. And it's already done. Point is, we would not be able to fit that many farms here. And we can only supplement it with cheese. Four or six farms here. Basically, food is going to be an issue. We can supplement it with imports. We have 40 units of wheat that we can import here and 25 units of fruit. Now don't be fooled by that. This amount of wheat could only feed I think 666 people if my uh, mental arithmetic is up to scratch. That is not a lot. And how many people will be fed by that fruit? Um, uh, less than that. <laughs> Maybe about 400 people. So, let's say we can feed a thousand people with imports. Yeah, food is going to be tough. We could uh, have tents here, so we don't have to feed them, but I'd rather not have tents here. In fact, I'd actually like to have a fairly nice and quite well interconnected city here. Can't you count on the fish? We can, but the fishing setup is pretty poor. It's okay here but there's not a lot of space for docks. This can't even be used. There's nowhere here that I can see me being able to use a dock on. So that fishing point is completely worthless. 
all the fishing points here are way too far away from the fish to be useful. And although we can get three fishing setups here, which are quite close to the fishing point, who are they going to feed? The tiny little hill dwellers here? This is a good fishing point though, I reckon we could feed like, oh I don't know, 2,000 people off of this maybe? That might be an exaggeration, but this is a damn good fishing spot. This is pretty poor. So, food will be difficult, so a tight time limit, low access on fish, and the other one is just the general layout here. The layout of this land is not great. This is by far the best building area, so of course I will want my patricians here. Very convenient spot right here for a reservoir, as long as there's no rocks there blocking things that I can't see. So, 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 so. I suppose the only thing that we don't really have for this is a story. We don't know why we're here, so let's just make one up. Let's go and check our uh, latest parchment that comes in from Caesar himself. What did you say he called me? Toga boy! Who does this haggis-eating, skirt-wearing barbarian think he is? Rally the legions! We go to war! So that's our latest thing that we've had here for Caesar, so uh, a good reason for us to take the initiative and go and start a colony ourselves over in Bergen. That's what we're going with. Uh, let's get it started then, shall we? First thing I'm going to want to do is set up a small colony so that I can get the exports maxed out. Although that's the immediately going to swallow up 900 of our denarii, we're just going to have to live with that. And I do pretty much immediately want to start feeding these people. I just had a realization, and it's not a great realization, but I'm going to need a shipyard here. I can't actually have four operational docks. Uh, wharves, rather. I can only have three, because they need to be shipyarded. Hmm. Oh well, needs must. This will definitely be one of them, because it's closest to the fishing point. I think this will be where the shipyard is, then. Makes the sense to me. We will need a bridge over here. Let's go, go. How's this going to be laid out, though? I don't truly know. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Can chat make uh, a map on Caesar or chat GPT create a map on Caesar? Mm, I suppose if it were given the tools for it. It would have to be taught though, surely. So, what's the layout going to be here? We have to keep in mind that furniture can be exported. There's a lot of tree around here. But that doesn't mean I want to delete everything willy-nilly. But I'll probably use this space as our initial settlement. Um, and deleting all these trees gets pretty expensive pretty fast, isn't it? But I am thinking that... We're going to have probably a granary here. Mm hmm Fish, fish, fish. Comes into granary here. Yes. Do I really think that's okay? Well, it doesn't matter because we've already built it. down here, you need to touch the ship tinker here, you're going to connect up here, I don't think this road will be here. A really fun thing about playing Caesar 3 is just coming up with all these designs on the fly. I never use pre-builds. Well, have I ever used a pre-build? I suppose when I did the weekly one-shot where I had to beat the game as quickly as possible. I was using uh, pretty much pre-built. that even come down here? God, I hope so. That's a big loop. I'm not convinced that loop's going to work so well. But it's going to have to. Now, I'll have you come up and, and like so. And I'll probably have a little bit here for additional industry. I don't have my map changes here, so I can't actually... I can't do my little trick that I had before where I just dragged along here and I could tell where the merger points were. Because I'm not on my computer right now, or at least not on my main computer. So I will not have the liberty of those changes that I made. Not that it's a concern, I'll do just fine. So, 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 let's make sure that you only take fishies. I will want people here, I'll want people around here. 
probably have my industry come out over to here. Ooh, hell, I could have it come along right the way over here over to a dock. So I certainly want people around here to provide labor for that. Yeah, yeah, because I want to get my furniture industry going pretty good and yeah, pretty fast. All right, we'll have people come in with that straight away. Worth noting that uh, I play with God effects off these days. It avoids God slumming and it avoids me cheesing the Neptune blessing. Please merge. It made my life a lot easier. It does not want to merge. Okay, well, that's how it goes sometimes. Maybe you want to merge. They do. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I know this is a little, a little expensive. Christ, granaries cost 100 denarii, but I'm going to do this. There we go. Trust me, there's a good reason for that. Well, there's a reason. Might not be a good one. But I think in the long run, that's going to be pretty good for our town setup. Some of these mergers are... Actually, most of these mergers are terrible. But that's how it goes sometimes. Now, we're going to need a shipyard. Operational on the double. For a wharf and a wharf, and sadly not another wharf. We can only have two. That is really sad. There's another one that can be had over here. Okay. Now, one way or another. I'm going to come along here, and then I'm going to have some industry set up one way or another here. space for it. There, yeah, that should do. Get some kind of refining going on. Yeah, yeah, that works well in my head. Now these people need some necessities. They're going to need some doctoring. Everything's going to need to not explode, and that's why engineers exist. So I'll slam an engineer right here. He shouldn't have any problem going up and doing this whole loop. If he does, though, I'll keep an eye on him by checking damage risk down the line. Athelwyn asked you about using a save. Hmm? I am not using a save. Should I be using the save? Did I miss a question there? I'm checking chat and I see no such thing. I was sent a save file and a map file. I usually use the map file in those cases. Oh, didn't you start from the save? Oh, okay. Am I meant to be using the save file? It's not that important, but the trade has changed a little, but not very. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, it's no big deal to uh, to switch out there. Hold that thought. Games, see there. There we go, I got the save file. There again, dot save. And now, when I come and load game, we got there again. There we go. Wow, would you look at that? We get even more money. Such incredible generosity. This is fantastic. What was changed that was trade, right? Oh. There's no local access to uh, fruit anymore. Hmm. What's going on with the trade? It'll still sell fish. Still buys wheat and sells pottery and f uh, clay. They still buy iron and furniture, and that's where we get our fruit from. And they still buy a very modest amount of weapons, and the trade price for opening up. Oh, right, Kaleva got cheaper to open up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. More money, why? Um, when you play the game on very hard mode, it reduces your starting money and your bailout money by... 
What is it? 25%, I think. Anyway, this more money is clearly a crutch, so let's go and waste it. How much, uh, how much money are we meant to waste? Probably 1,250. There we go. That's the honourable thing to do. <laughs> 3, yeah, I'll just ditch those 3,000. Okay, I don't think that changes anything about our startup, so we'll still, uh, we'll still build the same way. Get the stuff out of the way. Get that low bridge coming along. It was here, right? Yeah, probably. And then the granary was right there. I should have just taken the money. <laughs> okay, well, it's fine. I don't know what language our angry Caesar will be in, but we will have him soon enough, I'm sure. Okay, you coming in here, and... And I can't see very well. Risk, damage, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. say this one should come down. I have no idea anymore. Probably something like that. And then I put my engineer's post here. That's... See, it's that easy to get everything set back up. Put down wharf, wharf, and shipyard so that we get these things operating first. And make sure these people see a doctor so they don't get the sniffles. And there we go. Of course, it's always good practice to set your taxes to zero at the very start, because you're never going to make money off of tents anyway. On very hard mode, you will make zero taxes until your people reach hovel form. One of the things about restarting a map is trying to remember what you did last time and what you need to do again. Happy lots of knocker, gummy. Happy lots of Okay, shout out to the Logitech G502. It is truly on its last knocker. legs. Kan je een krijgen hier? Double clicking all day and all night. Alright, getting population in. Is it getting good population? You might reasonably ask, Jake, how are you going to water all these people? And I'm going to pretend I have an answer to that. Place to put you. I can kind of water everybody from there. But I'd rather be able to water truly everybody. This comes with plenty downsides of its own. Parking it right there, though. Not least of all, I'm going to need some relatively magical Roman water. No, no, some people really hate my magical Roman water for reasons that are not truly understood by me. Well, we'll see shortly. Didn't you want an aqueduct in that one cubby to the left? One cubby to the left? What are they saying? Oh yeah, I want to get rid of this. I don't think we're going to be having that whatsoever, and I don't want to confuse my walkers. this so I have maximum space for putting buildings in. And how is this going to go? Mm -hmm. And try my luck here. Not a lot of mergers going on. Not that it's a big deal at this early stage in the game. There we go. Oh, we haven't burnt through our money too badly just yet. And you did not merge. That's a damn shame for me. I wanted to merge. Try a little bit of fishing here. Oh wow, they really do not want to merge. 
Oh well. That's just how things go. I will, for once, avoid using my magical Roman water. Instead, we'll just use legitimate aqueducting. Get an additional engineer post in as well. And I have a funny feeling that you don't actually work there. I think you're spawning boats and they're immediately disappearing on me. If so, then that's really bad news for me. Yep, okay. Maybe we can still make this work. Shipyard go here. And we'll have these two get their shipping boats and then I'll try and make a dock here. I approve of magical Roman water while some people give me a hard time over it. And you know me, I can't handle it when people give me a hard time. Uh, okay, there's no point even trying to um, uh, make these guys have better lives until I have food for them, which is why we're working on that food right now. But until then, I might as well get industry operational. One, two, the get out of my way next. Three. Sienna, I need her. Vet where you can bow. I don't know where you can bode, but I know that I can squeeze in another clay pit right there. Four clay pits, pretty good. Um, I can sell quite a bit of clay and quite a bit of pottery, so I'm going to open you up straight away so you have a good idea of my cash situation. And I do want to deal with them quite close to where I am, so I'm going to set up the warehouse right here. And this warehouse is going to take pottery and clay. And the workshops for pottery are going to be uh, very poorly positioned, honestly. One, two, three, four. And we can have more than that. Tempted to put one up here, but I'd rather have all my industry tucked away down here. I positioned this poorly. That's how things go sometimes, though. I could put them up here. Would not be popular, though. Especially since I just positioned my reservoir so that I can operate there. I tell you what, I will put down one more pottery barn right here. These people are just going to have to deal with the situation. Um, apparently I just blocked the road to Rome. Well, I blocked somebody's road to Rome. I don't believe that for a second. I've got a way around and through here. Probably something like you didn't like where you ended up there. DDR Jake. Fair again, stream. Eh, that seems to be fine. Typical Romans, they're just moaning about literally nothing. Oh. Oh god. Right, I see the problem now. I completely see the problem. It's this. This blocked the entire road to Rome. See, that's why I made a save there. I had a feeling something wasn't right. But now that we see it, we can solve it. Uh. Oh, I double see it. It wasn't just you, it's you. Let's, uh, let's get that out of the way. There we go. Phew. Chang's that could have been a lot worse. But you know, when you've mastered Caesar to this degree, it's far from even being a problem. I'm gonna need more people in here, most likely. Let's get them sorted. Well, Caesar is wasting no time making his demands. He already wants a lot of my meat. We are storing meat in the granary. Uh, okay, that's operational. Now, I'm curious to see if this wharf will function. I hope it does, because if it doesn't, we only have two fishing uh, things for these whole people, and that is not good food income. 
Still better than a farm, but not great. Oh, oh, please work, please work. Yeah, it does work. Okay, that's very nice. Well, it's not very nice, but it is nicer than terrible. So, I am 100% going to be going into debt here, which is unfortunate. Because we have no pottery to sell our... Hmm. Ihr habt diese Gelder ziemlich schnell ausgegeben. Versucht zumindest mit diesem Geld etwas länger auszukommen. How did he find me all the way up here? That sounds like a German toga boy, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be mistaken, so... One of the nice things is, though, I might just be able to stay out of ultra debt for now. In fact, I may well make very good use of Caesar's bailout money and start our next industry. There's no good reason not to get on it. And that is selling this copious amount of IKEA furniture. Now, one, two, three timber yards will do it. The question is where they go. The answer is probably over here. This road can run along here. I can go one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that works even better. Raw material, timber yard. One, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. access to labor from here. I'll make sure there's all sorts of engineering going on. And there does need to be furniture workshopping. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I will need access up here at some point, so let's make sure we leave that open. This bit can come right the way down here. Nasty. That looks real good. Take the furniture here. I don't have enough unemployment to sustain this, so I'm just gonna shove a lot of people over here. Ooh, Caesar will not like that, will he? Okay, well, well, we'll make do until we get a little bit of pottery sold. Again, I can't rely on Neptune for this. I've got to rely on my own wherewithal. Okay, we've got our first little bit of pottery. Let's make sure it's sold, and that way we can get to work on staffing and functioning with all of this furniture. I'm going to turn furniture off right now so that all the employment is put into jobs that matter. Imagine if this game had uh, job specialization, like people actually um, working differently depending on how long they've been in a job. Jings, I'd be out of a job. Okay, nice thing is that we actually underproduce pottery and clay. That might sound bad, but it means this one warehouse can deal with both without overfilling, which is nice for me. If you just keep buying my stuff, good. That means we're in January. Toga Boy will not flip his lid too badly, I hope. I'm gonna make sure that I have more space for people. That might have been a little bit excessive. Tell you what, I'm also going to take meat here. And then I will sell any excess meat that we have. Oh boy, that pottery came in a little bit too late. Oh, right, what's my wage? Ooh, I'm on a clerk's salary. That's good and bad, mostly bad. I'll keep myself on a clerk's salary, but let's check how our finances are. That oh, crap. Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl, Geld wächst auf Bäumen. Hmm. I wanted to avoid going into debt, but there we are. It's okay. We will solve this right now. Da 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 da. Okay. And we have the people that we can put to work now into those furniture workshops. Glorious. See, Caesar, nothing to worry about. But he's not very happy with me, so I'm going to give him his fish and I'm going to give him a Greek manuscript. And I have three left over to pay off that debt that I had as well. It sounds a tad tired. I'm probably just talking differently because I can't hear my own voice right now. It's these, uh, these new headphones. I'm not tired at all. I'm tired of trying to find a place to live here already. This, uh, 
Balaton housing market. It's really got it in for me. All right, let's make sure we're selling off that clay. Sell any excess meat as well, which we could do if we opened up the trade route, but I want to avoid debt for once. So there we go. Let's get you opened right up. Away goes that meat. And I can start feeding and... Uh, here. I can feed and give services and water my people, and then I can start taxing them as well. It's going to be good for prosperity as well. The troubling thing is the way all these walkers can go around. It might actually be the best idea to have the markets over here. Yeah, it's a long way to go for the food, perhaps annoyingly so, but it ensures a better distribution. Yeah, I'm going to believe my own words there. Tough to swallow as they may be. Get three markets. 500 civvies. Donkey's buying up the clay and the pottery. And the IKEA is almost ready, so I will deploy the dock and get selling the furniture, and then all will be well. It's time for me to send you that link about living in a van. Nah, that, that does prey on my mind, actually. I think it'd be a fun experience, but I don't think it's the life for me, sadly. Come on, furniture guys, get to work. And now it's time to dock a clock. And uh, it's also going to be time to get some more population, but this time I think I'll do it by watering the ones that we do have. Now, it, it always bothers me greatly when I do this before I have any... Um, or before I have all my mergers. Oh, it bothers me greatly, but... Food is a big issue here. As long as I get these people up to uh, small, 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 small. What's the word? There's a word I'm looking for. As long as I get them to small hovels, we're good. And I will be taxing them when they get to small hovels. I have no good reason not to. Of course, they absolutely hate where they live, so let's try and offset some of that with a statue and another statue. But these guys absolutely abhor where they live. Can I do much about that, though? I mean, sure enough, those things near you are horrible. Statues would help. Oracles would help more. That'd have to do for now. Oh man, look at them grow. I love to see that. See, this is what you can get quickly when you actually give me a bit of bleeding starting money. I know it's a lot to ask. Right, so... Uh, June... Debt is right around the corner. Now nah, we'll hold off for a little bit. I want to try and avoid going into debt is what I'm getting at. Now, let's just modestly tax these people. Pay a tiny bit above Rome. Actually, I could uh, do a lot better than modestly taxing them. I can rather extortionately tax them, because unemployment is low, they're paid above Rome, and all in all, life is good in my city. I know it might not feel that way, might not look that way, might not even be that way. But the point is, they're taxed accordingly. Definitely. Wasn't this a merger? No, it wasn't a merger, that's the whole point. Well, let's make it a nice place to live. A nicer place to live, at least. Ooh, we're able to ship out more fish. Uh, we're going to have a very hard time feeding all these people, so I actually have no problem getting rid of one-by-ones already. Not least of all because they are contributing very negatively towards my... Um, well, they will be contributing negatively towards my prosperity. They're also a pain in the bum to feed. Not to mention, make desirable. Somewhat regrettably, I need you watered. There we go. Well, that's very regrettable. Could I not have that and instead have you over here? <laughs> they 
hate where they live. Here's a garden. Here's another garden. Get big. Get swole. And get rid of one by ones. Yeah, I, I'm looking at this thinking we do not have the food to feed all these people. So I'm trying to be as modest as I can on that front. Got a good collection of furniture here. I really don't want to go into debt, so if I could kindly just ship a little bit of pottery before I open up that trade route, it would be fantastic. Shower time and falling asleep to Caesar 3 says Ninjin. We'll have this done so fast you won't even have a chance to fall asleep. That's how it's going to go. Let's pay the extortionate amount to open this up. Let's ship all the furniture we can and hope the trade ship comes in lickety spit. I know the entry point is over here. When I was checking the map earlier, I couldn't find it, but I did notice that flotsam after a little while. How are we doing on the tax front? Look at all these people actually paying me taxes. I have a funny feeling Caesar's gonna flip his lid in just a moment though. It's only just a feeling though, right? Ha! Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl, Geld wächst auf Bäumen! Bäumen? What is he on about? Yeah, Caesar losing it. Anyway, not a problem, because would you look at that? We've got our IKEA shipped out. It was important to do this in 499 BC because I wanted to uh, fill up that year quota rather than eating into next year's quota. That would leave me with too many bits of furniture just lying around. So, that goes well. What doesn't go well is the food situation. This is... I'm not actually sure if this is going to be enough to feed 750 people. It should be. But the thing is, this isn't 750 people. It's actually considerably more. Because a lot of these places haven't filled up. When these tents become hovels, there'll be space for a lot more people there. Anyway. Not the world's biggest deal. The point is we have our initial colony. They are fed. They are taxed. You might reasonably say, Jake, why don't you put them to small casa? It would be very little extra work. All they'd need is a theatre and a library. And you'd be right. A library only costs 75 denarii. A theatre only costs... How much is a theatre anyway? 50 denarii. So that's very cheap, especially now. And on top of that, um, there's plenty of space for it. But do I really want to spend 26 workers on making these places nicer, even though that won't make them pay more taxes? I don't think it's worth the employment. It's better to put that money towards expanding, well, that money and that people into expanding the city. I gotta make sure I don't pay to Caesar too much tribute. See, he thinks I made a lot of money this uh, this year, and he's not wrong. But what I need to do is consider the next expansion, and I have a couple of options. One is to make good use of this land here. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, interesting. So I had a brilliant plan, and don't get me wrong, it was fantastic. But that was based on the map file that I was sent. On this uh, save file that I've been sent, we don't, uh, we can't farm for meat. I was interested in setting up a lot of capybara farms because that way I could mix them with the fish. But vegetables don't mix with fish. If plebs have access to vegetables and fish, they will eat vegetables to their heart's content until they run out of vegetables and then will eat fish. They will never prefer fish. So that makes farming on this map a lot tougher. It means mixing my fish and my vegetables is a rough one. Mm. Can you make a bridge in the Middle Island to the west? The Middle Island? Do you mean this island? Because yes, this can be bridged across. We can bridge across here, and then, yeah, across, da 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 da, -da across, and then use this. No fish and veg stew? Barbarians. When I think of fish, I struggle to imagine mixing it with vegetables so much. Uh, yeah. My mind just immediately goes to that eel that I had in uh, Japan. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, no kidding about the food being great over there. Well, some food being great. 
Right, I was admiring this fishing point here, and it is a great fishing point. But whoever gets fed by that fish would have to be kept segregated from all this mountainous vegetables. Unless, of course, we went for Grand Insulae, but then balancing the numbers is really tough. The thing about fishing is it's very difficult to calculate how much fish you get per wharf, whereas farms, as long as you run them 100% efficiently, you absolutely know how much you're getting. The thing is, this is actually, it might be a bit crap, but it's still the best place for massing food that we have on the map. Holy moly, this map just got a lot harder by removing the farms. Fish and chips are staple of Roman diet. No, no tatties for the Romans. Okay, wow. How do we deal with this then? You know, I, I was eyeing up the map earlier saying that far, uh, food availability is one of the hardest things and it's only getting harder. Right, what I could do is mass farming here. I'll have to rely on imports now that I think about it. Do a lot of farming here, and it's going to feed a large pleb area right here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little complicated. Because I can't loop it, it's just going to be elongated. Uh, probably going to be a theater and amphitheater over here so that I can have entertainment walkers run down it. Uh, mass the vegetables there, okay. Right, I reckon I could fit about 2,000 people here, 1,000 here, that's 3,000 out of 5,000, and then <laughs> figure the rest out. Okay, I have something resembling a plan, let's do it then. So. do what he says. It's these wolves that are making me hesitate. What do I do about these wolves? The moment I unleash them, they're going to cause me a lot of pain. And Contrary to what it might seem around here, I'm, I'm not that keen on it. Right, how about we start by planning out our farms? Sorry, John, got to leap trees. Helps me, fl uh, helps me plan. I think I can have a Dream of them along here. Three, 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 three. I think that lines up pretty well. And then that means the road comes along here. It'll branch to whatever and whatever. I've got a couple of space for farms around here, and maybe I can bridge that over in some complex. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sudden. Bolt of inspiration hits me on the forehead. Patricians, patricians, patricians. We can import wheat quite cheaply. I can set up a couple of, let me think. Da -da 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 -da. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh yeah, oh that's good, that's good. It's one of those happy accidents they talk about. Right, I usually get rid of my startup pleb area for patricians and this will be no exception. Uh, I can get a little bit of vegetables here. I can have my fish come in here and I can import wheat and then I can have some really nice patricians set up over here. Plebs here, plebs here, patricians. Oh yeah, great. Mm. Oh, I like that. I like that quite a lot. Now, these guys have got to go. How are they gonna go? I want, I don't actually know if this will work, but let's try it. line of you. I'm gonna get my engineer here and then it says they're boxed in. Why are they boxed in? They shouldn't be boxed in. They gotta ride down to here and over to here. If these disappear on me then that's a problem. Ah, they're fine. So my brilliant plan is that I'm just going to send a prefect army in to deal with the wolves. 
which is not ideal, but... Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. With that gone, they can come into here, but I worry about the wolves running out here. Well, they're not going for it immediately, which is a good sign. Oh, they're going for it. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. They're gonna come over here and uh, ruin my day. Okay, good, good. Get back in there. You like it in there, trust me. And now, and now, the Prefect army marches on to cleanse Norway of its wolf problem. Heb je wat te nakken? Kan niet eens meer een kapsel om krijgen hier. He can't help himself to a wolf steak when the food is right there. There's just no helping the Dutch. Hmm. The uh, the prefect army might have a bit of a hard time ahead of it because the wolves are all bunched up like that. Troops, including wolves, fight so much more effectively when they're bunched up. Why would you even want to help the Dutch? <laughs> Questions that we're all still struggling with today, I'm afraid. Okay, so it's very strange to have wolves on a map, but not have any military buildings. But as long as we are afforded gladiators, prefects, or lions, we do have a response to that. And that was my response just now. Okay, let's clean that up, and let's start fleshing ourselves out with a big old plebeian housing block. Uh, you know what? I never normally do this. Ooh, let's rotate the map. Sometimes I see players, and they, they just happily rotate the map. It's like uh, nothing to them. Just, oh, I need to see this way. I'll rotate the map. Me, I, I struggle greatly with it. I don't imagine that I have a lot of problems with object permanence or the like, but when I play a Caesar 3 map, I like to orient it north and always play from that. It's just how I prefer it, I suppose. There's a lot of space for farming here. This whole bit could all be done with farms. Of course, it can't all be done that way because I need a granary here somewhere, somehow. Uh, I'll probably actually have the granary up top here, but that creates more problems than it solves. Now, least of all, labor access. I need someone living around here. Because uh, people love to get stuck in the stairs. It's one of the more aggravating things about Caesar 3 is these stairways. It's a square of tile that people just love to get lost on. Right, sorry guys, you gotta go. I've got a block to design here. I still call Nikki the home. I'll bring back Nikki's lines at some point. I don't want to discredit Max and his attempt at sounding pathetic, but when it comes to that, you just you, you don't pick a fight with Nikki. I mean, uh, Nikki's a, a great guy. I've even met him. I, I had his jacket for a while. I like the videos he makes, but he is world-class when it comes to sounding absolutely helpless and pathetic. Okay, I think I see a solution to my issues here. I think I even see a good solution. I can get a cliff-dwelling house or houses right here. I will certainly try to. And the granary will go here, with an access to it running like so. And then whatever else happens along that way. Okay, that should work out pretty well. Even from here, one, two, one, two. Right, I really hope this merges the way I want it to. It might not, though. Absolutely nothing says it has to work the way I want it to work. But that should get us some um, uh, 
labor access here. Of course, labor access is one thing. Laborers are another thing altogether. And this is going to be a line. Caesar 3 does not work well with lines, but it's going to have to today. Although, although I just said that, it could be a loopy, liney thing. but it could be a bit of a U-shape. Yeah, yeah, there's also like a three space here. What I could have is the, the getting warehouse for all the goods. Okay, right, this is, this is actually coming together fairly well in my head. Which is a, a nice, if unusual feeling. I'm getting people doctored up. We're going to need some engineers. I did just blast away the last one after all. As it happens, we've got a convenient spot right here for you. One way or another, I'll need some more of it going on there. Any plans for weapon production? I don't see a necessity for it. I can sell weapons, yes, and weapons are good money. Uh, but I will need this trade route open at some point, so I want two types of wine and I will definitely need oil. You make a compelling argument there. E Edoy? Edoy 92. Aside from being difficult to say, what is the meaning behind Edoy? At a glance, I thought it was Edgy 92, but no. Right, looks... So, deceptive looking on this map. There's all this raised land, but raised land is not the same as mineable. Rocks are mineable, but raised land is not the same as rocks. Even so, looks like we have an opportunity to go mining here. Now that blocks the stairway entirely, and I want to use this for plebs, so that's a bad place to use it overall. Now, speaking of which, I need to preserve this area. There needs to be a reservoir there. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'll figure out how the water gets there in the future. Hmm. Where do we go? Iron mining. I had fun making the mining spot, says Athlon. <laughs> fun or fun? Fortunately, the amount of weapons that can be sold is very low. I only really need two mining spots. I could feed a very modest amount of plebs over here from these fish and have them do the mining. And the nice thing about this very low prosperity requirement, I say very low, 70 is um, almost higher than any career map. I think uh, Caesar, I think um, Miletus has it at 75 or 80. You know what, it's bothering me that I don't remember. What's Miletus? Uh, not Miletus, Massilia. Massilia demands 85 prosperity. Entgegen meiner normalen Gepflogenheiten werde ich euch ein Geheimnis anvertrauen. Geheimnis? What now? Well, no, we're not having any of that. Thank you, Whisper Wind. Where was I? Building up quite a collection of sa saves here. Even so, what I'm saying is that 70 is not a huge demand. I mean, I can make do with one mining spot, but I don't want one mining spot, I want two. Can't max out my exports with just one. To be honest, if you remove all the trees in the map, I think you can fit 32 mining spots. Yeah, finding them's the challenge, though. And you never need 32 mining spots. Uh, maybe some... Augustus maps might benefit from that, but do I look like someone that plays Augustus? Do I look like someone who needs four times expanded capacity off-roaded granaries and global labor access? <laughs> uh, no, no I do not. Well, I hope I don't. Okay, well, uh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. What is in the way 
What, what is that? Is that a rock? Why does it say something's in the way here? What's this here? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the birds, for some reason, block you. Right, so... We could have a very strange setup here, where I mine here, process it here, and then take it here, but I don't like that whatsoever. I think I'll just do a very modest amount of mining like so. Oh man, that bothers me, just one tiny little iron mine. It's still going to get me yeah, about 1,500 denarii per year, but I don't like it. Clang, clang. And then, of course, I've got to put this engineer post in a desirable location. Also, also, the food that I generate here could be used to offset any issues with you. In fact, I'm going to make you a getting place. And... Ooh, we might be onto something good here, actually. Well, might be. Might be a stretch. But bear with me here. You're going to make the the ships that come over here and feed these poor buggers. Can't even see if that reaches. It doesn't. Okay. Now this is a very, very good fishing spot. So naturally I want to make the most of it. That means minimizing the distance to the granary. Hey, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Hopefully the engineer can make a good run of it. That might fall down over there. Hope it doesn't, but it might. If it does, we'll have to reposition the engineer. Sadly, we don't have the Augustus feature of knowing walker paths right from the get-go. Something here will merge, and that'll hopefully be all the labor they need, but it probably won't be, so I'll add a little bit over here. Oh, now it's going to be very ugly living there. Well, they knew what they were signing up for. I can at least loop it a bit. There you go. Food access looks difficult. It's very difficult. It is the biggest challenge, I would say, on the map. It's a northern map, so food is slow anyway. The fishing situation is pretty grim. Ooh, let's get rid of all that. You're only taking veggies, please. And the layout of the map is not helping much either. Good, that merged. That was the least that I wanted. Okay. Hopefully I made it that you take only fish. Of course I did not. Alright, I can be quite satisfied with this. We kept Toga Boy off our back. I'll keep him further off my back with some Persian carpets. Is there like a well-known brand of carpet? Just so I could make fun of Caesar with that as well. If I want information, it's usually just to poke fun at someone or something. And that is no exception. thousand civvies, not bad. Uh, people are going to be very unhappy with my tax situation, so let's roll that back a bit. Very, very unhappy with my tax situation. You know what, they don't need to pay taxes for now. Hmm, Rome hasn't raised its wages once. Is Rome raises wages actually on? Look at that, really nice and close to the uh, the wharf. That makes it lightning fast to bring that food in. And the important thing is that the cart pusher gets back to the wharf before the fish is back to unload its next uh, next load of it. 
Wow, nothing chuffing merged here. It's alright, I'll fix that later. You guys don't want to merge, which is also unfortunate, but it's fine. Modern hated the Korea study. And hey, nice, we've all got to... Uh, we have got all these small hovels now. I like it, I like it a lot, but I need to start really pushing forward here. Um, with a number of things, not least of all watering my plebs. So I would like these folks to be up and on the go when it comes to being glorious hovels for me as well. Now I can feed a relatively large amount of people with all this. Let's do a quick head count, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What is 15 times 160? Well, it's pretty much 10 times 200, so it's about 2,000 people fed. 2,000 people here, huh? <laughs> it's Chefren. Funny how the answer is always Chefren. Okay. 2,400? Wow, it's higher than I thought. Uh, yeah, that's quite a lot of plebs that I can feed up here with just these vegetables, which is bothersome because this is so good for fish. Mm -hmm. So who am I going to feed with all the fish? I don't have an answer to that yet. You've done your job, or have you? With just vegetables, you would need 31.25. Yeah, we're not squeezing that many vegetable farms in here, though, sadly. I could set up fish for, um, for feeding some people here, but the, the setup is just so bad for actually getting that food to somewhere. Unless I neglected a good bridging point here, which I did not. That is unreachable. Fish, fish, granary, very efficient, lovely, but then... Just doesn't quite add up. What is Caesar in Scotland? What could it mean? Hold on, I see it now. I see it all now. Uh... In due time, although we will have patricians here, we can have additional plebs here, fed from all this. They can use this land and this and whatnot. This will be used as the fishing grounds. Is that really true though? The whole point was to get the good walkers over here that come down and through here. I'm not sure this is how I want it. Other, other thought is what if these people are grand insulae, fed by both fish and uh, vegetables? Yeah, that could work. Maybe. It's a lot of grand insulae and very difficult to reach with the desirability and no plaza. But not impossible and also pretty good for cramming in people. Lots of people. Comes with plenty of problems, though. No, screw it, let's just embrace the problems. You know, at, a, at first glance, I don't think this would be a particularly challenging map, but the, uh, the food situation... is good. It's what, it's what I'm often saying, like, you don't need to start your player off with 600 denarii and give them massive invasions from the get-go to make a challenging map. I think the most interesting challenges come from situations like this. Right, so the fish is going to come in here. There's going to be a lot of walking down here. So the fish there, vegetables there, markets in the center, which can hopefully take care of everything, and grand in Chile all over the place. That's the grand plan. It's not the best plan, but it's going to have to do. First thing is, the walkers are not going to play ball with me, I can already tell that. But at least once you've done 
you're done giving all these people boats, I can delete all this offshoot. And then starts the... Oh, cripes, no. Only except fish. These vegetables will get in your way for a little bit. But at least it's only a little bit. Where'd all my money go? Okay, well it's February, we've got fresh loads of uh, furniture to ship off. Oh, right, well, here's part of the problem. I don't have my weapons being exported. Uh, no, 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 do not be exporting weapons. Caesar in Scotland be. Big cheese. Chief. Still prefer Toga Boy. Uh, right. Mm, Sizable problem. How do I water these people? I can get water as far as here because I don't need this area. But. Actually, you will not be working for me for some time, so it's well water for you. Hopefully they're all able to get their uh, employees. No, no, and no. Because uh, they just get lost inside here. They have no idea how to walk through and get access to this labor, do they? <laughs> no, no, and more no. Right, much as I abhor tent labor, I'm going to give you that, just to get these things functional. And you've done your job, I can't think of anywhere else that I need to send boats to for fishing, unless I want to do some fishing here. It's not a good location for fishing, not by a long shot. But it is a fishing location, and I am saying that food is one of the hardest problems on this map. So it would be foolhardy not to try to squeeze out a bit more for these poor fish-fed buggers. You want to merge? You do not. How about you? Again, I don't have my setup where I can actually see uh, the merger points. Actually, I don't have it set up to show the merger points. I have it to show which are not the merger points, which is actually uh, better because there are more merger points than not merger points. But merger points is a hot topic when it comes to Caesar 3. Oh boy. Right. I shall get rid of you and start watering our people. grow. Uh, who do we love? We don't really care for Mars, but Mercury's a good guy. Libraries are also good, but will the library walk all the way over here and all the way back? Probably not. Well, almost definitely not. Here's your library, and this is actually going to fork quite a bit, I think. So although I have you like that, I'm probably also going to have you come out here. No, there's no need, actually. If you do it like that, I can simply set up an amphitheater here. And uh, probably also a theater here, somewhere, like you. Good for desirability, but I could use that space for other things. Um, there, then. And that means that the gladiator... Oh, for the love of God, do not have a gladiator revolt on this map. <laughs> How would I even pacify them? Uh, as a map maker, if you put a gladiator revolt on a northern map, you are well and truly taking the piss because a northern map user is not going to place prefects, which are your main defense against the gladiators. I would not be very gladiator after that. I think I would be considerably madiator. Right, I actually want a little bit of marble. The price of marble is probably going to go up. So let's be ready with it. 
guessing that because it almost always does in these situations. People are looking good, we can get back to taxing. Up we go to eight or so. Stuck at work doing overtime, at least I can watch Jake try to build my old university city. That sucks to hear. But yeah, so this is apparently based off the layout of Bergen. In fact, I should have that map ready. It's pretty difficult to juggle everything as a now single monitor plebe. But let's see if we can't do this. Can I get you over here? Yeah, of course you can't see anything I'm doing here, but bear with me. Based off of a map. Whoa, Christ, that's big. Calm yourself down. There we go. So, apparently the map is based off the Bergen layout here. And I can see it. I can totally see it, especially the uh, part that's really sticking out there. Let's bring that away and then appreciate that. Mm. Still, no, still no great thing to be building on, but we'll make it work. We'll find a way. Build, are you forgetting the Great Northern Quake of 47 BC? Well, thankfully, we don't have to worry about that for some time. Oh, crikey, I uh, took in a bit more marble than I was expecting. Let's get rid of you. Uh, I'm keen on getting some desirability down here, so there you go. These guys probably hate where they live, and I can solve that. I can fix them. I'm gonna need to tax these people. Uh, I'm gonna need to make some more money, please, game. Ha! Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl, Geld wächst auf Bäumen! I do not want to be in debt at the turn of the year, but it looks like Lucky is on his way to buy some pottery off of me, and that should keep me fiscally hydrated enough. Because being in debt at the turn of the year is what murders your, uh, your favor rating. Doesn't matter being in debt outside of that. Except for the one-off time when he gets mad for you initially going into debt, but let's ignore that for now. I know I am. Right. That's pretty good. It's bringing people in. And we have the pottery. And you're full of fish. I'm wondering if I should just go for Grand Insula here or not. There is a problem with that. And that's that there's not enough entertainment here. I would actually need a Colosseum around here. I don't actually want that, but... Well, there's a lot of reasons I don't want that, but I probably just had to build it anyway. It's okay, though. It can be done. What I would do is I would... Uh, just augment things by putting a lion house here. Or anywhere, really. And then this would work fine. Yeah, yeah, I could make that work. The main problem right now is getting oil in and having money, of course. Because exports are not huge for us here. Honestly, I could probably... No, I don't want to complicate matters. Ah, oh, we're fine. Come on, we're Norway here. We're meant to be filthy freaking rich. Why do we have to import the oil? It makes negative sense. Oh, nice. It went over to January and stayed... Uh, stayed uh, fiscally hydrated. <laughs> Fisk. That's funny. Que lugarzinho mais infiel. Governador não respeita os deuses por aqui. He's still thinking. I know I'm going to need this reservoir, but that shows me as far as I can go and still water my people here, so that's actually a bit of a problem. It's going to be very difficult, actually, to get all these Grand Insulés over here. My Grand Insulé idea might be a very poor idea. Hmm. Oh well, such is how it goes. starting to think that it would be a better idea 
to segregate this altogether. Cut you off and just have this only get the fish for what they need. And I'm already thinking that's a good idea, but it gets rid of my whole have the walker thing come through here idea. Although, 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 I have an, I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Mm, it's not a very good one though. It's a pretty bad one. Hmm. Goodness, the the layout of food here is rough. <laughs> Norwegians have not in, uh, invented oil yet. It's 496 BC. Uh, don't discredit your own people this hard. I, I I forgot I can't be lagging so hard here. I've only got 190 months to make up this 70 prosperity, and we do not look so prosperous right now. Uh, I guess I shouldn't hesitate on the whole Grand Insulae idea. It's just... The desirability is going to be very tough to get to them. The goods and services are also going to be pretty tough. Especially since I need to keep some of that pottery back. Da -da -da -da. Should absolutely axe some of you. Strangely enough, you guys are all getting access to labor, which is good, but strange. I didn't expect it to go that well. I don't want these tents sitting around being tents right now, so let's change that. At least bring them up to something a little bit respectable. Uh, it's a pain, this area here. Mm. <laughs> I'm really struggling here. The food situation is rough. Alright, let's cope with the situation like so. Pottery exports over 8. Furniture exports over 8. And regrettably, I need to import some oil, uh, olives. I'm gonna set up a warehouse right about. Oh, jeez, now I'm thinking that food's gonna come down and around and. Alright, there then. Oil, oil. You accept olives and oil. And I'm gonna have a warehouse. Ooh, that's not a bad place for it. It's not a good place, but it's not a bad one. Very central one here that gets pottery, gets furniture, and gets oil. And then I will try to push these guys up to Grand Insulae and tax the bejesus out of them. One thing Grand Insulae are fantastic for is taxation. One thing they're not fantastic for is having such undesirable lands, and this land is going to be difficult to make desirable. Because no plaza. We do have statues, we do have oracles, but plaza would be so much better than all of those put together. Oh, that's right, you're, you're stuck there because I decided that you don't get to be nice. Hmm. Do I have the wherewithal to water you properly? Not really. Well, a few shacks won't go amiss. Blood under the bridge wasn't that long ago. Let's not let's not start thinking that we're better than shacks. Taxation, regardless of representation, what a time to be a Roman aristocrat. There we go. Glad you see things my way. Okay, good to see Lucky's buying up my goods. Oh, nee, the dijkbreak door. The goden moeten ons The dijkbreak door? Oh, nee, the dijkbreak door. The goden moeten ons wel niet haten. Oh, nee. Haha. 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 Haha.
Uh, ist das so Die Götter sind sauer. Wenn man nicht mehr betet, kriegt man von denen einen auf den Deckel. Oh nein, der Deck bricht durch. Moi, là, je suis pas le plus religieux citoyen au monde, mais écoute, moi, je traiterai pas les dieux comme ça. Man, Norwegian Latin is such a beautiful language. Okay, we got the furniture over here. We need more than that. We need the pottery and we need the oil. The oil is being made. And once we have that, uh, regrettably, I really do need that Colosseum here or else they're not going to evolve to their final form. Colosseum's such a huge thing to build. But we'll have you there. And uh, one way or another, we're going to need this lion house. Um, Die break door. <laughs> what is he like? <laughs> Speaking of Jake, where are you now? Are you in a new place in Hungary? I'm staying in an Airbnb in Hungary right now as I uh, desperately try and find a place to live here more long term. It's not going well, by the way. I've been to a few viewings, but uh, a few. I've been to one. <laughs> it's been hard to find them. Uh, anyway, one place, the location was terrible, but the place was nice, and I didn't get it because someone else got it. I got a uh, viewing lined up tomorrow at noon, which looks promising, but kind of expensive, pretty small, right smack in the center of uh, town, which is good and bad. But it might be an idea to stop being such a fuss pot. We'll see, though. Ah, bonjour à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? Uh, whatever you say, Lucky. It's set up with a fish. It's taking a long time for the uh, the guys to actually go where I want them to go. Right, the pottery is out. So the, these guys are coiled and ready to become, well, better than they are right now. The water. I need to start thinking about uh, evolving some grand villas here. Right, that's the furthest I can make them, which is quite good. There's a little trick to this. It's a, it's a better trick if you don't mess things up, though. And here I was wondering if that was in the map. There we go. So Rome does pay more wages. There we go. Just trying to get a bunch of Grand Insuli over here. Um, getting them their services is going to be tough, but I'll figure that out. For now though, I just want you to get some actual pottery and some oil over there. I am taxing, right? Of course I'm taxing. Taxes are actually uh, pretty much paying for our imports, which is good. It's not great, but it's good. Single screen streaming setup, and now looking to settle, Jake? Are you about to ask if they have something under the stay? Not that, uh, not that desperate, but I don't like single screen streaming that much, is for sure. Right, there we go, that water's all of you. Let's see what we can do to make you big and strong. You'll certainly want a Temple to Mars. You've got all the education. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Yeah, he makes good points. There's no way a school kid can run that far, so I'll need a school here and somewhere around here. That'll be tough. Just want to get these guys up to Grand Chile first as quick as I can. Can you make a bridge at the nice farmland on top? Yeah, we can bridge over to this. I'm not doing that right now because it would unleash the uh, the wolves, and I'm not keen on that right now. Pretty happy with my prosperity. 21 already. It's not rising incredibly quickly, but this isn't too shabby at all. We're going to need baths however you cut this, and the baths have to be around here. 
That'll do. So they have, uh, they have everything they need, I believe. Oh, crumbs. If you think I forgot about Caesar's, uh, Caesar's meat, you are completely correct. I did. Let's give him some performing slaves. And let's stockpile the fish. It'll get thrown over here. Yeah, stockpiling won't sell it either, so that should be fine. Of course, what you guys are certainly going to need is more, uh, more desirability. I finish up rising in my old neighborhood. What has the world come to? <laughs> Find the truth stranger than fiction around here. There we go. Probably gonna need some kind of oracle around here to boost the desirability too. And they are going to need a barber as well. Where can I sneak in a little barber? There we go. No one has to know. Right, once they have the barber, do they have access to the library, funnily enough? Ugh, oh, that is, um, painful. The librarian just doesn't quite make it, so I need another librarian about here-ish. This is not great. Um, not to mention there's no taxation going on right now, and we know my stance on taxation. It's yes. This still might not be enough desirability, but it's about as good as I can get it. Why? I want my timber. Alright, well I guess you're accepting timber, and I am stockpiling timber. Get those fishies. Toga Boy is a hungry man for some garum. Come on, barber guy. Uh, actually, what's your problem? Oh my god, the bathhouse worker again! Arbeidsledigheten er så høy at hele byen er ulykkelig. You're happily going down there, but these people need a bath as well. These smelly Romans are in dire need of it. But, we're on a good sign of getting ourselves grand insulae. There we go. Now, if you could kindly go... N yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Grow, grow, grow. Hilariously, they're taking even more fish exports from me. Right, there we go. Got enough to satisfy Toga Boy. I'm going to unstockpile you, still trade whatever I have. The uh, lumber's really piling up here, but I'll get, my, uh, get the furniture sold away shortly. Yeah, I was worried about this. They don't have actually access to health. So I need to find somewhere just to squeeze in a clinician. There we go. That should actually work very well if you make your way down here. Do, do. These people hate where they live. Yeah, well, I hate them too. Uh, can I just put you here and then forget about everything else? Would be handy if I could. Actually, looks pretty good if we squeeze in a school here. Now, odds are these kids are not going to go where I want them to go, but there's a minute chance that they do. School kids. So a school spawns four kids. Wait for it to happen so I can freeze frame and go like this. Like this. And each of the kids is going to go their own way. And there's little control over them. And they have the shortest walker path of all walkers. So this kid going north is already a waste of my time. He's just going to bump off the edge there and not too much. As for these three, I need at least one of them to come up and over to here. So I'm hoping that one of these three take this exit instead of this exit out of this granary here. One of them did. Now go, run, 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 run your tiny little leggies. And that's as far as it goes. Yeah. However, do not despair. The kid that went north could actually be useful to me. If I do that. Then the north guy actually catches those, and that's everyone here given school access. And hey, look at them grow. Oh boy, that's good. 
Oh, that's better than good. That's not half bad. There we go. And of course, these people need barber access as well. Strangely enough, it's easier to sneak into here than it is elsewhere. And now we should have all the grand insulae you could ever want. And on top of that, Toga Daddy gets his wood. Meaning I don't need to stockpile that wood and uh, the timber anymore, and I can certainly take it off all being accepted here. Question for Caesar experts. <laughs> well, I'm right here, hence I dad. Can I make school kids force walk or is it impossible? You cannot make the school kids force walk. Sadly. Okay. And okay. Now you need to grow a... Oh, I like this. There we go. It's not the easiest thing in the world to cram in Grand Insulae in a situation like this. But you know what? I bet we could cram more. Yeah, I could get one of you here. And one of you here, and one of you here. Yeah! Oh, Getting hot under the collar just thinking about this. But yeah, we could squeeze in a little bit more Grand Insulae. With the fountain there, they'll all get watered. Desirability might be a pain in the rear end, but when is it not? And they are paying me taxes. Not a lot, because there's barely anyone living there. But Grand Insulae pay damn good taxes, and don't forget that. I'm gonna get rid of you, because uh, prosperity is a real concern. Also, I ignored the fact that wages increased in Rome. Thank God it only went up by one. If it had gone up by two or more, I might be in some trouble with my people. No, there are no roadblocks here, Gustav. With an exception, the gatehouse that I do not have access to acts as a roadblock in Caesar 3. But I don't use that. Not anymore, I used to back in the day. But I like to think today I am an accomplished enough Caesar 3 player not to need them. I used them quite a lot, if I recall well, during my uh, weekly one shot of this game. God, that looks good. Oh, man. Oh, that's some good Grand Insulae. Really good Grand Insulae. Let's celebrate by soaking up unemployment with a whole lot more farms. I worry about you. Your desirability is hard as heck to raise. You're just too far away from everything. However, if I migrated the theater down to here, which I can... Ha! Observe. There we go. Then I can remove this theater and replace it with another oracle. And then... Bang! Tell me you're gonna grow more than that. Oh my goodness, they hate where they live. Well, I could put myself a personal home here, but that's gonna eat into our farming area. I'll do it anyway, though. I like the idea of you being a... Uh, hey, for once we get this, and my city looks better than the little clip they play. So I just want to point out that we started with 3,750 denarii, which is like five times more than I normally get in a map. And the map is still proving to be difficult, and I'm not filthy rich. Large starting money does not instantly mean, oh, you win the game. This is something that came out during uh, one of my rants in a previous map. There are plenty of ways to make a map difficult without just squeezing me for starting denarii. And by actually getting a starting denarii, I can, look at this, I can build! I can actually build a city from the start, it's lovely. There have been plenty of maps when we've been this far deep into a map and we're still just on small tents because I need to have desperate austerity. What did you call them? Oh, I missed the end part. I like that. Jag skulle inte ha något emot att pressa folk på dinarer hela dagarna om det bara fanns mer att göra här om kvällarna. I know it all sounds the same, just English and a French accent, but that was the wrong line. This is what I'm looking for. Att driva in skatt från dessa hårt arbetande människor får mig nästan att börja gråta. Men bara nästa. Men bara nästa. Cheeky bastard. 
Right, uh, you are a difficult one to raise, and I don't actually think you're ever going to get that bathhouse access. Because as is often the case, you never walk where I need you to go. I wonder what I can do about that. It's not unthinkable that I put another bathhouse over here with the only intent of uh, evolving you. It's a bit extreme. And, oh, what the, whatever, I, I, I want to see a Grand Insulae down here if I can. I don't think I can get enough desirability without Plaza, but I can try, damn it. Come on, grow, you buggers. I like this, I like this a lot. You're probably going to have difficulty growing more there. Need library access, but you have, oh, 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 oh. Come on, you're so close, I can taste it. Dang it. Oh, double dang it. Roman's getting in my way by demanding more money. Prosperity's looking good though, 27. Mm -hmm. Tax them dry, I say. What a nista. Oh, yoba. Come on, librarian and engine now more than ever. And oh my days, that. Right, I don't actually know if a large statue is better than my own house. Let's find out. Uh, not quite. I do think I'm overdoing it on the vegetables here, though. But I need this food, so I'm doing a bad thing here. There we go. Well, at least we get that. It looks good, right? But uh, the food situation here is grim. Even so, with a good stack of large insulae and the intention of having some nice patricians here, there's nothing saying that everyone in Norway needs to be fed. In fact, depending on who you ask, there might be quite the demand for the opposite. But I want to squeeze my people over here as much as I can. Oh, please, 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 please. I want grand insulae here so badly. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my! Miss Morgan, your bathhouse has been upgraded. What do you say about that? If I can find you. Always complain about unemployment in my cities. Well, that's fair. I do always make unemployment horrible in my cities. Hang on, hang on. I don't know where you go. Ah, damn, I'd need it to be a large statue here. Oh. My cogs in my forehead are grinding. I see it. Ah, it's still not enough. There must be a way. There must be a way. Do 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 Right, I have an idea. It's not a good one, but let's do it anyway. Garden, garden, grow, delete garden, add back road, and... Oh yeah, I'm so good. There we go. I, I got him to the threshold where he became a Grand Insulae, and he won't drop down back to Large Insulae unless he loses food or service access. He's just on the cusp of it, though. He hates where he lives, but doesn't hate it so much it's going to devolve. This is really nice. Uh, okay, that single tent I hate, and these don't look so good, but what is... Oh, I could make you slightly better, couldn't I? Oh, you're already watered. Uh, there you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course he hates where he lives because of all the wharves. Um... Don't worry, enough busts of my face and he'll evolve. Actually, maybe not. He really hates where he lives. Wow. It's like he's trying to tell me something. Anyway, this looks good. The real San Francisco experience. 
They're on the same street as the slums. Well, as long as everybody pays their taxes, it's all good. That's why I've added two tax agencies here for them all. Fancy bathhouse. Yay, unemployment. Ugh. Look, I'm working on that, okay? It's not easy. It's quite the opposite of easy. Okay. He's scrabbling through his head once again for a solution here. Well, what is there to even solve? Uh, I really hope this food crisis isn't, well, you know, a crisis. I think the food that I have coming in here and here will keep all these people happy. The problem is, that's only half the people that I need. And that is a problem. So, what's the solution? I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe, I don't actually tear this down. I might keep it. And what I will do is I will use this for vegetables and for fishing. And that's going to feed my glorious patricians over here. Mm -hmm. I will still need wheat for them. But I can import a lot of wheat from Londinium. And if I do that, say, over here... Da -da -da -da. Ooh. How tasteful can I make these patricians, I wonder? Perhaps even very. Um, feeding these people is becoming less of an issue because we actually have a good amount of well, fish. I will evolve these people then. I don't know how evolved I want them to be. My industry isn't exactly terrific for this. But I might make them into... Yeah, okay. I will deny them health coverage and I will make these people into small insulae. It's going to be quite the ragtag of different types of housing here. So they're going to get that. They're also going to get some edutainment. Slam a library over here, say. <laughs> here, say. Um, they're already taxed, which is good. That's their entertainment. They're going to want more entertainment. The bothersome thing about more entertainment is uh, that when... So it might seem like, hey, bringing people up to small insulae is nice and easy for a good return, but the biggest problem with bringing people up to small insulae is, because, is that they go from needing 10 entertainment to 25. A theatre gives 10 entertainment, an amphitheatre gives also 10 entertainment, but the amphitheatre gives an additional five if it has both a gladiator school and an actor colony. And a gladiator school and actor colony together take up quite a chunk of space. However, I think I see just the right place for them. If they're over here, they're going to walk along, up, and then to wherever to get to here. And then they're going to do their rounds. Okay, that works for me. All right, all right, all right. Still space for more housing here. But for now, we'll just see about evolving them because I don't know how tight this is going to be on my food. Could be a little, could be a lot. Not to mention tight on my desirability quotas, especially for these poor bastards. I'm tempted to give them an oracle, but I'm not made of money, so I won't. Mm -hmm. Just mentally, oh, of course, of course can't have these people without some baths. Smelly bloody Romans needing their baths. Still, that should get them everything they need to evolve up to small insulate, and because I've denied them health care, they will die before they demand more things that'll bring them up to each of the meet this time. The favor requirement's actually given me some hassle. I give them another gift, but I'm going to keep, uh, keep my salary up rather than putting it down. Regrettably, I need to stockpile you. Just what the day needed, Caesar 3. And what the day needs is uh, estate agents that actually keep in contact. I'd really like to up my, uh, my production of pottery. Because now I'm using it. And I'll continue to be using it. Not 
flooded with great places for this. Speaking of flooded, thank you very much for not putting in flooded clay pits on this map. I do appreciate it a lot. It's a long way to go with your finished product, but I think you actually might be fine with that. And even if you're not, a little bit of inefficiency won't kill us. Look at that, the small insulae that I deserve. And the rest of them are waiting on some pottery coming in. Hard to blame them, but now I need to raise the amount that I export past to 16 or so. <clears throat> you know what, you should probably accept fish as well. Just so that anybody here that has to go a long way just to deposit the fish there don't have to go that far. They can just chuck it in there and all as well. Although if Toga Boy ends up asking for more fish in the future, it might be a good idea to have a warehouse over here as well. Because that's a very efficient uh, load of fisheries over there. Right, what's your problem? Entertainment. Theater, everybody gets it. Entertainment, amphitheater, not everybody gets it. Oh, now that's pretty bad. Not the walker loop, although that is pretty bad. Uh, the reduction of the amount of pottery that I can sell is pretty bad. Alright, there's your fish Caesar boy. And let's get back to selling that stuff. Come on, I need you to come south out of here and make your way around here. These people are lacking amphitheatre coverage, and that's no joke. Especially since I have a place for an additional amphitheatre around here. And they keep getting lost in the stairway, don't they? Yeah, they do. I'll give them one last chance to make a walk around here. If they don't do it, I'm repositioning that amphitheatre. Haven't made a save in a while, so let's save that we're committed. Prosperity 27 should go up. Hey, it did. Up to 32. That wasn't amazing, but it was okay. I do pay two above Rome, but uh, we lose some prosperity because of our horrific unemployment issues. And they are horrific, no matter who you ask. I am going to move the amphitheater over here. The walker's just not going where I need them to right now. Getting these guys up to small in Chile would be great for many reasons, not least of all desirability. Now there's a small problem with my setup here. I have denied myself water to this location here. Uh, I will need some water coming along here somehow. Already hear some people screaming, no, don't use the magical Roman water. But I could. I really could. Just thinking of all the ways that I could do it. I also don't have to. But I think I will. Da -da -da -da. Population doesn't look too shabby, actually. 2,750 something. And by the way, I asked my Hungarian colleagues for state Asian tips. One mentioned a person you could contact. Uh, yeah, DM me on Discord, McCain, then, because I'm going back out tomorrow on the plod. No, I'm not. I'm not just frittering away my time here. I am actively trying to find a place to live, and it's not coming easy. Okay, so the walkers here just do not want to go where I want them to go, but for now, let's just accept them, faults and all. And try and get these people up to glorious light insulae. I know it's small insulae, but light insulae just sounds better to me. You're never going to evolve unless I really spoil you with uh, things like that. Oh, now that looks good. And the walker does go up north. Excellent. Oh, that's very excellent. If I could just get you to evolve one little stage further. Oh, there we go, go. Mm. Oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, this is the good stuff. 
This will work wonders for my desirability as well. Alright, main problem, no kidding, is getting water to you. I mean, I have options, none of them are great. The dock takes up some good watering spot, but then where would the dock go? It's kind of set up to be there, that's its place. Same could be said about my glorious IKEA industry, although I could mulch two of them and then bring the water up through here. That would work. That's a lot of mulching though, that's four buildings worth of mulching. But the timber yards could be moved over here. The fun thing about the game is that um, rocks can actually be woodcut if the map maker mixed rocks and uh, and trees. I might have just pulled that out of my backside, but I think that's true. Meaning I think I could actually have one here. I might be wrong, but let's find out. Timber yard? Timber yard. Okay, that's kind of good. And now I need my weapon workshop replaced. And I need uh, two furniture workshops replaced over here as well. One and two. <laughs> They're going to hate that over here. But that allows me to destroy this and you two. Not the band. And there is our water and for once it's not magical. But it's definitely Roman. Stone trees and wooden rocks. <laughs> That's how we roll around here. You don't have to like it, but you do have to accept it. I'm gonna shove an oracle over here, I think, although I'll need a fresh it. No, no, let's not get too hasty with the oracles. That stuff's expensive. Oh my God. Tell you what I need to stop skimping on is this bleeding mouse. I need a replacement mouse, and I need to stop putting it off. Nah, I'll deal with it later, though. This Logitech G502 is trash. It just keeps double-clicking all the freaking time. All right, this is looking good. It's good for income, it's good for prosperity. The main thing I need to do now is get myself some patricians over here. I have the unemployment for them. I just don't necessarily have lots of money for them. Okay, I worry about the food situation. I did have a big stockpile of fish just now. Hopefully it's not too shabby. The problem is these guys are all filling up on fish. I'm sure they'll deal with that soon enough. One hopes, at least. Don't accept meat anymore. Seems like a fool's errand. Alright, so main challenges that await us. Financially, I'm still not doing that hot. I still need a lot of prosperity and my unemployment is way too high. The uh, patricians will deal with a lot of my problems, I just need to build them. And unfortunately, I need to import wine for them. And of course, I did not leave myself a convenient place for importing wine. You could take wine, but that has a lot of problems of its own. Quite a lot. But you might actually. There's nothing stopping me from connecting you up, actually. It's it's a horrible way of thinking about it, actually connecting my patricians with my plebs, but the marketplaces you know, the marketplace is a big problem there. Mm, however... The marketplaces don't have to be connected. No, that, that just causes way too many problems because the food stuff happens here. Okay, let's... let's expand. You know, I love all this thinking. I don't try to do a lot of thinking in my life, but... Caesar 3 is just... Mm, oh yeah. Oh, not okay. There we go. It just feels good to be 
activating the grey matter over something that I care about. And I care quite a bit about this game. So, very much a backdoor entry solution. If we have space for services or really anything along here, but this is where things get a little complicated. And still expensive, I gotta remember. Especially if I need to be importing um, wine. I, I might not benefit from doing this right now. Maybe I should sit back and just make a bit more money first. Especially if I crank up my taxes, something fierce. People won't like this, but uh, eh, they love me. I do need more money. Get some more exports of pottery done, and the fish, and the furniture. Taxes off of you, which is gradually getting better. Look at that, 115 denarii per building. Not too shabby. I wish I could get away with less thinking in my life. <laughs> right. You know what, I think the best idea... Oh, crap. Well, that wasn't great. Uh... Nope, no wolves, you're not allowed over here. I think we're just going to chill out for a little bit. I know the unemployment is staggeringly high, but I just need to sit back and make some money for a wee bit. Even if Toga Boy is going to drink it off of me in tribute. Speaking of which, I can give him some African ivory. He's still concerned about me. Got a long way to go in that favour. Wolf baiting strat, so we'd have towers to shoot them with. Oh man, it feels good to actually be ahead of this animation. Sometimes we see this and we still just have small tents because the the need for crawling out of horrible deficit is too dire. This this tent is uh, abhorrent though. <laughs> it's horrible. I wish it weren't there, but I ca I can't boost desirability there any further unless. Okay, I could put one single statue here. I did it. Yeah, there we go. Small tents out. Hmm. Yeah, now we can correctly claim there's not a single small tent in my city. I think. Still wish it were better. I, again, I would normally plaza the corner here, but we have no access to plaza. Docks are such horrifically undesirable neighbours that uh, these people all hate where they are. Det här nu som betalar verkligen så lite skatt att det slöser i med min tid. Min tid. Yes, yes, yes. Your time is valuable, Ninjin. We know. Problem is, I do not want to unleash the wolves to the general populace, and that could happen if things don't go well here. And they start eating up my industry, and then oh, it's a lot of money lost for every cart pusher they nibble on. <laughs> it's nice hearing Baron rant for a bit. Uh, what was my prosperity last year? Because it's up at 38 now. I thought it was 32, meaning it went up by 6. 6 is good. Okay, when I have about 8,000 denarii, I'm going to feel pretty good about starting on patricians. And what makes me feel very good is the fact that the food situation is stable here. Oh, that makes me feel considerably less good, though. Exports of furniture just collapsed. And although I can export a lot of iron, I don't have a good setup for mining lots of iron. Hmm, that is a bit of a problem. Not an insurmountable one. Maybe I'll start on these patricians sooner than I thought I would. The, the imports of wine is going to murder me though. Look at that, I have to be 215 per keg of wine. And I'm going to need quite a lot of them, probably about 10 or so, so that's already one third of my budget wiped out. Okay, 
And we're also going to need to import wheat. That's another problem. And we're going to have to pacify these walls. I think we better get on with that right now. actually because this stuff goes very wrong very fast and I don't want them wandering around here <laughs> so if people don't like my progressive tax policy they just, they just rob me blind but that's how it goes it was really because I didn't want to increase wages to to counteract but I probably should I get a lot of very good um, I get a lot of very good taxes out of these, so it's worth raising the wages to counteract that. So once people stop being so angry with me, I will raise those uh, I will raise those taxes back up. For now, though, I need to drop it mostly so I can get immigrants in. Uh, immigrants, if you could uh, kindly arrive now, please. Oh, I've got plenty of tents that you can bode over here in. Uh, I don't like the fact that they got occupied already, though. Maybe I already had people walking in. Anyway, let's go and take the fight to Wolvenkind. Thuk Fang Thu, indeed. Actually, our amassing of prefects is working quite well. I'm mostly benefiting from how narrow this is. The, the wolves can't spread out. Whereas our, uh, our prefects just go and thunk, thunk, thunk them. Excelente. What I could do is soak up a lot of unemployment with prefects, but I'm not doing that. People are pleased with me, hopefully pleased enough to pay my 14% tax rate. And now I need to think. Hmm. Jake, when will you finally give in and play some of the delicious Augustus maps on Heaven? Um, when I can play Augustus without the Augustus gameplay changes. <laughs> yeah. Not sure that's going to happen. Right, there are two immensely efficient fish points here. There's this space for our vegetables, and that alone will take us up to... Hold on, if it's as good as it looks, I might be able to mix Grand Insuli in with us, or just basically keep eating and eating. Uh, I will try and do some calculations on the fishing here, because it's actually quite important. Anyway, two of you and a number of vegetable farms, and very importantly, you need to be right slap bang on the granary here. How's this layout gonna go? Sadly, there are no planning tools, so I can't figure this out. I've gotta do it live, as they say. And these are some big, bulky buildings, so... Let's assume that you're there from the get-go. And then we have, say, a... Vegetable farm. You're gonna come out and up there for a little bit, so. Vegetable farm, vegetable farm. I mean, not great, but not bad. One, two, three, four vegetable farms. Granary's right there. Additional granary can go wherever because vegetable farms take forever to grow anything anyway. Hell, I can put it over here even. Double hell, I can put it over here. Pretty sure the uh, veg farms can walk that far. Okay, now it's of vital importance that we make sure that you are for the fish. Thank you, double-clicking uh, Logitech mouse. And maybe in my head, I think, if I complain enough, often enough, Logitech will see it and go, Oh god, we need to fix this guy's mouse, and then just 
I don't know, give me the, give me the same mouse, but with a not Chinesium switch on the inside of it. Right. What do we need here? We need everything to not blow up on us, so that's immediately a an engineer post. But there's a good space for two two by twos there. What they would be, I don't know, but something. What's some kind of merger here? And here, and then we'll figure out the rest later on. So the food goes there and there, and then this is Patricianville. And although I do love the trees, John, I really do. They gotta go. I need this for planning. Bruegel is one of the ancient players of Caesar 3, still active on the Caesar 3 Haven forums. And one thing they do in their cities is they don't delete anything unless they use it for the city growth. So their cities end up baked into the uh, landscape very nicely. I think they often use the existing uh, road to Rome as well, and I think that is terrific. I'm not that good. Also, I think that would be very, very difficult to do when live streaming it, not to not to hide behind this veneer shield of, oh, well, I'm, I'm streaming it so I can afford to be not so good. Oh, maybe just a little. How are our patricians going to set up here? There's a lot of space. And there's also one thing that is going to be necessary is a Colosseum. I could put it all the way over here. Some people wouldn't like it. But those people might just have to suck a lemon. There you go. Enjoy your Colosseum. Enjoy your new wife. Their medium statue will not alleviate all those problems, but it will help. Something like... The problem is this bit right here. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Something like that. This is not a big and excellent setup for our patricians, and I need to think where they're going to go. Best I can have a three by three ones. And gotta remember the water spread is... Oh, that's fine. Water will get everywhere. Which sounds bad, but it's actually good. I'm gonna space them around the back here, but the desirability is gonna be tosh, so it's better if they're here. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four of them along here. Maybe with the Senate and or my palace here. My palace here would do wonders for desirability. And then I could have the... I could also have them along here somewhat. You know what, overthinking this never goes very well, so let's just have someone here, here, and here, so we cover the corners. And see where we go from there. Important things include lots and lots of goods and or services. So two of you, one of you goes and gets oil and gets wine and you get pottery and get furniture. We'll let them stack up nice and early and we're going to make sure that the pottery that we sell is now actually over 24 and the furniture over 16. That allows it to back up in those warehouses over there. I am going to hate importing wine so much. We're going to need a lot of marketplaces here. I haven't fully thought where they're going to go but that's some of them already. They've got a long way to go and get the food, which means I need quite a lot of them, which is very unfortunate. Oh, that is also very unfortunate. Marble just shot up in price like nobody's business. 
Yeah, dear me. How old is your mouse? I had a double click issue since 13 or 14 years. I did fix two times click issue since just metal fatigue. Uh, I don't know. I've probably had this mouse for about four or five years. I only have about 10 years left to clear this map. The favor is still low, and sadly, I do need to get that. Those veggies for, uh, for Toga Daddy. I will, in my infinite wisdom, delete you and replace you with a warehouse. A warehouse that only takes veggies. Because I think this thing ends up packed with vegetables, so I'm going to store them up here, and that way whenever Caesar wants them, if he wants them again in the future, I'm ready for them here. No an issue for Logitech. They fixed it in the latest version. Completely new switches. Yeah, great, but I'm still stuck with the old one. Holy smokes, all of these merged. That you don't see often. So, with a bit of luck... Oh, I made a boo-boo. A significant boo-boo. I don't actually have anybody to get you your... Um, to get you your ships made. I need a shipyard. You know what? That fishing wharf is pretty useless, but... I think I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'll get rid of you. I was thinking of just getting rid of my dock, but no, that dock is vital and my money is not uh, loads of right now. People are annoyed with me, they really do not like my progressive tax, so let's lower that before my, uh, my tax people get mugged again. I'm actually going to get rid of some of these because I don't like the implications on my prosperity from those tents. I hope the ships can actually make their way around over there. Yeah, I got no reason to think that they couldn't. Alright, well that took no time at all. Togo Boy gets his vegetables and he gets himself a Greek manuscript to go with it. Very slightly boosts up my favor if I send him a gift every 12 months or so. You lose two favor every year. Only one if you lower your own salary to below what you get paid, but if I did that, I'd get no money whatsoever. And I'd rather have some money than no money. Right, this is a little bit painful, but I'm going to import some wine. Do you accept wine? Well, you do now. At least we have two different places that sell us wine, so we will be able to get to palaces if it comes to that. It probably won't, but good to know that it's possible. So the marketplaces are grabbing stuff, but I'll just let that be for now. I want it to pile up. I want these fishing places to... That's not as close as I thought it was. So the fishing place goes... Two, three, four... I think that's... I don't know where you actually measure the, the thing from. So that's either... that's somewhere between six and five tiles. So like that. one, two, three, four, five. Five tiles. Okay, let's go with five. Let me check my number crunches here. Caesar three information. No, that, no that's sexy pictures of cities that I've made in the past. Fishing. Apparently, if they go five tiles, they make 24 units per year, which is two units a month. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. That's more efficient than a regular wheat farm. Okay. Um, actually, that's amazing. That means one of these is as good as all four of these. Uh, what does that tell me, though? It tells me that... I could actually feed, like, 
Uh, about 1,800 people in patrician uh, buildings. The difficulty is going to be squeezing that many in and out of space for that many. But it does tell me that the population situation is okay, so let's believe. I believe. Yeah, I'm still in Hungary right now. Datka Kaidi. I mean, I want to be here for a long time, but I really want to find a place to bleeding live here. Shame on me for having needs and wants. Oh wow, these people actually get um, shacked up. I can actually help them out a bit there. Have a series. Um, have a series temple. Look at that. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing with these people. I'd like to give them another medium statue here, but no can do. I gotta make do with small crappy ones. Hey. Not a. Oh man. <laughs> How could I forget? I didn't put down any um, any engineering around here. Also, the engineering I have around here is a bit shoddy. There we go. Well, that's an expensive mistake. Those coliseums don't come free. And Caesar wants his fish again. Caesar, I'm not made of this stuff. And I did just axe one of my wharves. Prosperity still growing. 44 is nice. Okay, that, that is quite enough wine. Thank you. Let's not be importing any more of that. Oh god, stop importing it. Yeah, you, you do not accept wine anymore. Stop taking it. But we do have the wine over here, which is good. So these guys are ready. Well, if they have all of these goods set up here, then it's really just a case of giving them all the services they need. So, let us get on with that. My palace is very expensive, but very good at boosting desirability. So I'm going to start with that. And then, and then, and then. I'm going to have you here. You're going to water a lot of people. Here, I reckon. Nope. Not there at all. That wasn't the mouse, that was Parkinson's. Um, there's a bit that I'm missing out on here, but we'll see just how many of these, uh, these people I can grow. It's not very far from the entry point, so it shouldn't be too hard to get these staffed up with people. So, we have the Colosseum, we have the... Wait, I didn't set up the walkers to come over here. Ooh, that's no good. And, of course, I don't actually have enough space here for them. Ah, that's a concern. Hmm, I need to somehow squeeze in all of our walkers here for that. Um... Think, Jake. Use that thing on your head and think. I could push this down a little. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it now. I could move the actor colony over here. And... The... Gladiator. No, actually, I have the space over here for him, because I don't use this for much. And that way I can get rid of both of you, which is good. And then I can push this down and move my oil over here. Workshop oil uno duzo. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. There we go. And then you two can bugger off. And then it's time for actor colony, mediator. And uh, well, the lion's got to go somewhere. Yeah, he's got to go somewhere. Engineer, clinician, 
barber. A hospital is needed somewhere. That corner is going to be hard to make uh, desirable anyway. And the academy can go hither. They need a school somewhere. It's not a desirable building by a long shot. But hopefully there it can reach everybody. They're going to need a library. They're going to need Miss Morgan herself in the bathhouse. Uh, where do you fit? You do fit there, don't you? Good. At least make your rounds for once. They need a few bits of godly goodness. One, two, three. And what else do they need? Well, they need to be taxed. Taxed until they cry. I think I will put you here. Getting desirability is actually going to be very difficult, even with you there. Uh, I just haven't left myself good space for uh, statues and the like. Old school game. I miss Caesar 3. Where can I download it? I recommend getting it off of good old games. And then go and get the Julius mod, which makes it just so much better. I appear to be practically out of money, but the people are pleased with me, so I'm sure they'll be happy to pay me excessive amounts of tax again. Yeah, financially, this has been a tight map. Maybe I've just been playing it a bit tight, but I've been trying to play it fast because I know I'm on a very tight time limit. Okay, if I need desirability, I can shovel it in with oracles, but oracles cost a lot in marble, which I don't have. Okay, Rome has just increased the price of, uh, of wine. That is not good news. I'll keep wine on import, but I'm not going to tell you to accept it, and hopefully you don't either. Good. They're getting all their needs. The main concern is wait home entertainment. Yeah, of course I never give you the amphitheater that you need. Here's a theater, but an amphitheater is a different story altogether. I could shove it here, but I am not doing wonders for my desirability that way. Hell, there you go. I'll probably need a large statue here at this rate, but I'll try and make do with oracles because they're more space efficient. Tax until they cry. Glad Sweden taught you a thing or two of how to manage the. Yeah, I'm managing Norwegians. Right, they're just about to evolve to patricians and not a moment too soon because we are in debtville just about. Oh god, I still don't have the fish for Caesar? Uh-oh, that's that's why. There's not actually space for, for the fish. Why are you not accepting the meat? Get the meat. Get the meat there. The, the granaries have been emptying out because of this. That's not good. pays even more wages. That was a hefty one. That was a four, four denarii wage hike for them. Come on, gotta get that uh, fish over for Toga Boy or else he'll be nay happy. Oh boy, that looks good. That looks good. Actually getting to large villa there. I didn't expect that. marble I got enough for one oracle and one oracle you get wasn't enough was it no especially not for you you hate that school I understand but I still need you to evolve uh, prosperity is at 44 it didn't rise did it no cuz I made a loss well that's probably why 
Good, good. Right, large, uh, large villas are good, but I want better. Oh, snap. Large villas might be all I get because um, I really don't have the space for setting up wheat imports to keep them good. Meaning they'll have to make do with these two types of food. Huh. Space is uh, becoming a pressing issue on this map. Or maybe a depressing issue. Right, there we go. Togo Boy gets his fish and his customary carpet right. Okay. Now. I need marble for that oracle. I'm actually going to have to import it to hell with Caesar's anger. I'm sure we'll be okay. Hmm, yeah, that, that uh, population requirement is going to hurt real soon, I think. The original population requirement for this map was apparently 7,000 before uh, final touches were made to the map. That's a terrifying prospect. Ha! Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl, Geld wächst auf Bäumen! Do understand, Caesar. I'm using it to buy marble. One thing that I would think you would understand. Dun, dun, dun. People grow fast. Oh wow, I uh, <laughs> I must have miscounted this. This isn't actually space for the patricians that I was after here. I thought I made you wide enough. Evidently not. That's a problem. Oh, I'm good at making problems here. I hate medium villas, so having two medium villas here is not ideal. But I'm not really in a great position to be having yet more large villas either. Well, at least, um, at least oracles would reach out from there, but even so, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven large villas. Not great. Oh my day, okay, now, now Toga Boy wants iron. One thing I really don't mass up for him. How long is he giving me? He's giving me enough time, but this is going to kill my, um kill my weapon exports for a while. Alright everybody, get growing. There's a lot to be done. People are quite pleased with me despite my progressive tax. And as these fill up with people, the, the money situation should solve itself, but the prosperity still has a way to go. Okay, good. You grew nicely. Now you grow nicely. I said, grow nicely. Hmm. Boosting your desirability here is... possible, actually. With a little oracle right here. Yeah, man, I know it. I know my stuff. Don't let anybody tell me that I don't. I try not to think of it like it, but it is pretty much a game. Jeez, Caesar and his needs. Right, uh, there's not a lot of space to meet his needs at this point. Of course, I tore down a lot of the opportunities to tear down trees in Caesar's name. Not all of them, though. There must be somewhere that I can still hack trees to bits for him. Well, kind of here, but that's blocked off. did it over there. Aha! Mountain trees. Mm. Yeah, the, the tight spacing on this map is proving to be quite tricky. 
It's that population requirement that has me a little bit sweating, but I think we'll be okay. We just need to stay the course. How long did Togo Boy give me for that anyway? He needs 25. 25 is pretty much its own warehouse, which is troubling. Because I don't have a lot of space for additional warehouses either. Hmm. But I do kind of have space right here. Take any excess of timber there, please. And there, of course. Ah, we need to accept that timber. More is needed. A little bit more is needed. I think I'll actually... I don't want to delete that. I really don't want to delete that. So I won't. I'm sure it'll be fine. Excess of timber can go in there. In fact, maybe you could even be getting timber from over there if it comes to that. What are these guys' problem? Lack of entertainment, but they will get that. That's no problem. Lack of wine is actually an issue, I hate to say it, but I need to stock up on a bit more wine. And this is going to be expensive. Rome reduced the price of timber? I, I can't sell timber, though. There's, uh, no point. Tiny Island still has some four hush Tiny Island, this one? Yeah, it certainly does. Why did I just see oil come to me? Okay, I thought I imported some oil there. No, it is wine I'm importing. Okay, that's really bad. Price of uh, pottery just went down. I rely on that pottery, you know. I'm spending way too much money on wine here. Okay, good. Grow, 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 grow. That's what I'm looking for. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm no longer exporting weapons at all. And on the plus side, I've got my patricians. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about 700 patricians. That's still not nearly getting me to my population goal, though, which is really concerning. The population required on this map is uh, troubling me. Probably because I went for Grand Insulae here. There's more food than uh, than is strictly needed for this area, and I'm not using it all. But... Let's not worry about it. Population is something that can be squeezed out at the end, as long as the prosperity is met. And uh, meeting that prosperity might be tough. Mm, pay no attention to that net in-out flow. Taxes are doing well. And people are pleased with me, which is also doing well. It would be nice to squeeze up the unemployment so that I could tax people even further. Just thinking about more patricians. I'll have one. I'll have a medium uh, villa here. Otherwise, though, I did not buy. I did not leave myself enough space here. I should have, in hindsight, crushed down on this, expanded out the patricians, and had a lot more of them. But I don't want to do that at this point. I quite like the fact that for once I did not completely destroy an existing part of my city. No, these are large villas. Grand villas require a third food type. And that's not impossible. But I don't think I want to do it. I don't need it for the prosperity. My prosperity, I am certain, is okay. At least in terms of the prosperity cap, I still need to reach that prosperity. And uh, it's getting tight, because I don't even have 10 years to make that. Ah, but my prosperity just grew 6 in one year, so actually... Realistically, it should be done in the next 4 years. 
more patricians mean more wine. That could be a problem if there are a lot of them. Not really. Patricians pay for their own wine just by taxing them. Unless the uh, wine imports are truly egregious. Mm, this isn't too shabby. You know what? We're going to fit in another two large villas. Because I believe we can. But it's very important that the bathhouse gets moved here. The temple to Ceres gets moved here. So that could impact on your desirability in a negative way. And I am destroying a market for this, and I never like doing that, so we're going to take this market away. Please don't devolve. I'm just checking to make sure that they don't suddenly say, Oh, it's too, too nasty here, I'm going to move. But they're not saying that. They're not saying anything close to that. One here, one here. Offset any negative implications of their desirability with some gardens. And, uh, yeah, you're right, I completely misjudged that because he's only to move down by one more. Bath, Ceres, Market, Bath. Ceres. They can make do with their existing markets. This forum needs to be moved. It's a shame because that's a good forum. It doesn't let me down with the taxation around here. So, if you're going to replace a forum, replace it with two forums. <laughs> Seems like a good and fair way to deal with the tax system. There we go. That should evolve into our extra and much needed patricians. They'll pay the bills, they'll flesh out the population goal, and then beyond that, I am in hot water. How do I get more population on this bleeding map? Could shove some people over here for the hell of it, but there's not a lot of space for shoving. Oh, that's right. Weapons just turned off entirely, so... Are going away and becoming this. I won't get rid of you, you actually soak up some unemployment. No, that's bad news. Inflation is rife. Uh, it's eight. I meant to be eight above Rome's wages for the maximum happiness boost. Speaking of happiness, the people are very pleased with me good. It's very good. Oh, they don't have access to a school. Come on, kids. Oh, man. Kids these days, not a drop of stamina. Right. I'm going to put you over here, but that means that this engineer post needs to go elsewhere. I am going to hope that this is sufficient. But just in case it's not, I'm going to put an extra one there. That'll allow immigrants to come up and quickly get into the patrician area through that way. And this school will definitely meet the needs. Definitely meet the needs. Definitely function in... Oh my god, it doesn't even... Let's see, the kids only get to here before despawning. That's a tiny way. Right, in that case, I'm going to switch a room to school and series. Pathetic. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, yeah, they don't get to you whatsoever, huh? Okay.
Okay. I'm gonna switch you with the baths then, which is really not good because the baths are a desirable neighbor and the schools are an undesirable neighbor. And that doesn't help you because you already find the situation quite unbearable. But, as with most problems, it can be overcome. Hmm. The oracle around here is the most obvious solution. Therefore the best, but... It's not that simple, is it? I really hate deleting markets, because you delete all the goods inside them as well. Um... Best solution, I actually think. I'd love to sell Toga Boy to stuff it with his wood request. I'm having a hard time amassing that wood. I really feel like I should just set up a dedicated wood cutting area. Something like over here and just choppity choppity chop it. Yeah, it's probably the better idea. Caesar wants it so bad he can come over here and get it. the wood here. Forget that, and forget you accepting wood, because it's just getting in our way. And forget this extra bit of wood chopping, and that extra wood chopping. We have everything we need aside from that. And now... Oh god, that iron is wasting space in here, but hopefully it'll be okay. With that, I plan on putting a large statue here. I plan on getting rid of you and replacing you with the all-powerful Oracle. And that leaves me with a library deficit, which can be handled by... Ah, the wood that I just got rid of there. And now you should grow. Yeah. You should grow. might devolve. It doesn't devolve. Excellent. Phew, just caught you. The thing is, I put some gardens down, it absorbed the gardens, and that reduced its own desirability, but because it expanded out in this direction, it now had these squares, and that brought it closer to the oracle and the statue, and the building will only consider its most desirable square when it considers the whole building's desirability. So that means that you could have the building be adjacent to a whole load of iron mines, weapon workshops, schools. But maybe on this side there's a lot of statues and oracles, and they think this area really sucks. But you know, this area is really nice, so... They'll just consider the nice parts and not the horrible parts. Good times, really. Uh, I, I can't believe it. The school is still not meeting their needs. solutions for you. No, I have still a solution. And it's that. Just make sure that doesn't cause devolution there. Okay. You will get school access. Barely, I think. Yes. And then you will absorb that house and all will hopefully be well. Switch school with market. Again, I hate deleting markets because you delete all the goods inside a market. Let's say I deleted this market. I would be deleting two cartloads of pottery, two cartloads of furniture, and six cartloads of fish. And I don't want to do that. Also, oh, this is pretty bad. Remember when I switched the location at library? It caused some devolution, but we caught it just in time. That should still be okay. Shame about the unemployment, but it is going down. Also, grow, grow, grow some more. Need some wine. Grow, grow some more. 
needs a hospital. The hospital is right there. Come on. There we go. Schizoarbeitslose, you say? Well, takes one to no one. There we go. Now, don't devolve. I'll give you some extra gardens. Just do not devolve. Oh, crap. It wants to devolve. Um... Is there anything I can do to help it? Yes, a statue here. We'll just barely, maybe... One, two, three, one, two... Ooh, yeah, no, that actually doesn't help at all. Two oracles here might help. Oh, crap. I'm, I'm out of marble. Okay, well, this could get ugly. How in the world did I end up with an odd number of marble? Oh, this is bad. Okay, but this is good. Right, Toga Boy can get his iron, meaning I don't need to stockpile iron anymore. Hell, I can export any of that iron that comes out of there. Exporting iron, now there's a thought. Oh, but there wasn't uh, space for an iron mine there. Uh, I need that marble on the double game. Oh, this is hideous. And it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Also, I am stacking up with uh, excessive amounts of furniture. I need to reduce my amount of furniture that I'm making. Get rid of two of these. There we go, I got the... Uh, Oracle magic. Now grow, 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 grow. Oh god, no, they hate all this hobbly nonsense. Please grow, please grow some more. I still hate that hovel. Okay, that's good. Oh, but now you immediately want to devolve again. This is hard to balance, you know. Tell you what, though. I could probably get rid of you and replace you with a large statue. And that should keep you there, although it does now necessitate a gladiator school. But because of what I deleted here, I have space for gladiator school. And now... Oh, God, that didn't catch you. Oh, there we caught you. And now you need to grow just a little bit more. Interestingly, I can actually get rid of this school now. I'll replace it with an oracle. I will stop importing marble. You're going to grow when I get rid of this. Here we go. Right. And now... my amazing plan beyond this point. I'm sure I had one. By the way, are you all paying your taxes? I hope so. Uh, the amazing plan was to put a school down here somewhere. There's not a lot of space for it, though. a devolution. Well, I'm not complaining about it, and hopefully that school kid goes north. There we go. That gets them their school access. Okay, so everybody should get it. Uh, the reason they get school access from here is because the school kid runs along here. He stands on this tile, and the school kid, like every walker, exudes their effect by two tiles radius. So one, two, it hits here. And one, two, one, two, it hits you right on the corner there. 
My main concern is that you still get school access, and you do. Okay, there we go. Patrician blocks should be rock solid. Provided we are still importing wine, which we are not for some reason. Why did I ever turn those imports off? Okay, right. Situation looks good and stable. We make a profit. Our people are happy. Prosperity is growing quite heavily, and the money will only grow more as more people move into our vacant patrician houses. The only problem is that population. We are still short about 800 people. And we do not have a lot of time to get it, but I have every confidence that we can do this. Every single confidence. This map is hard, by the way. <laughs> it turned out a lot harder than it looked. And uh, it was it's exactly the problems that I listed at the start. Not to pat myself on the back too hard for uh, acknowledging the issues here, but... Ooh, I make too much pottery these days. I'm going to clamp down a little bit on it when I don't want to. Um, could I just have another warehouse set up? Designated pottery warehouse, designated... Uh, designated... Um, hmm, not quite enough space here for you, sadly. Could probably shove you over here some way, shape, or form. That means mincing two of my clay pits. Not ideal. He's thinking, he's thinking some more. Can't fit a clay pit here, but I could put a pottery barn there. You know what, clay doesn't really sell for anything uh, worth knowing anyway, so that should be okay. Ah, that's what you meant by the patricians are sobering. Ah, well noted, but there's still a little bit of wine in here to keep them going. And, most importantly, there's wine sloshing in many marketplaces. Gotta make sure all the marketplaces are kept good. I wonder if this is too many people, though. Because this is one, two, three, four... Um, four vegetable farms, which is four... hundred, five hundred, six hundred... So it's good for about 1,200 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 90. But these people all eat vegetables. So there's about a... Uh, oh, cranky. Fair few. It's almost 200 people living in these. So that's 200 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Say 500, 200, 700. Yeah, I think I think I might be actually a bit on a deficit when it comes to the vegetables. To alleviate any risks there. Thank you, Caesar. To alleviate any issues there, I'm going to delete them. That should ease up the consumption of uh, vegetables, something fierce. Uh, I'm a little worried about why I'm losing money here. I'm assuming it's just because of my hefty imports of wine, so... Let's turn those off for now. 19 units of wine is plenty for now. Oh, Jesus. Meet again, Caesar. We meet again. Okay. It's really tempting just to tell Caesar to screw off when it comes to that meat. But a smarter thing might be to put down a shipyard here. And a wharf here. And hey presto, you now accept meat as well. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, he wants everything? <laughs> Okay, here's your, here's that. I'm working on the meat. He wants my iron as well. I don't like the fact that the iron backs up here. There might be a place where I can dig out iron along here, though. It can be hard to tell, but let's just believe. You know, I'd put an iron mining spot around here. 
That's what my immense gamer senses are telling me. But there isn't actually a mining spot around here. Oh, is there one around here though? No, not quite. Yeah, there's one over here. It's kind of funny. Uh, unfortunately for me, I blocked this off my reservoirs. Alright, the most sensible thing to do is wonder why I have a weapons workshop that's operating, since I can't sell weapons. Uh, wait, wait, I thought weapons went... No, that, that's what they sell to me. You still buy zero out of zero weapons. Get rid of you all together. And try to puzzle out a way to store up Caesar's iron without eating up this area. I really just need a second place that I can mine iron out of. But there's not really any space for anything, is there? No. No, this map's getting really, really tight. I'm the most experienced... Oh, I'm not the most experienced Caesar 3 player. Uh, I feel it's very cranked up to find 800 more. I can't see how. You mean population-wise? Um, oh, wow, the patricians have already filled up. I thought I maybe was going to squeeze a few more in there. Uh, I will be able to squeeze 800 people in here, here, and here. I'm confident about that. What I'm not so confident about is how I'm going to get this bleeding, uh... This bleeding iron for Caesar. It's not good places for mining iron in this map. I mean, it considers that mineable. But... Oh, 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 no, 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 I'm not cheap enough to do that. I mean, I'm almost cheap enough to do that, but not quite. You can mine the entry and exit points, but that is an exploit. An exploit I prefer not to use. Can this be mined? Sources say... Uh -uh. Oh, oh, we got mineable stuff over here. Right on top of my patricians. They would not appreciate having that in their backyard. Where in the world am I going to mine this iron for Caesar? I mean, I could just take this iron if I shove it somewhere. Where am I going to shove it, though? There's only so many places a man can shove, and I'm running out of them. But I think I see a solution. Not a great one, but it is a solution, maybe. I'm going to get rid of pottery, furniture, and you. And I'm going to do this, and this, and that. And now you only accept iron. You do not accept iron anymore. All the iron will stockpile into here. And that'll take care of Caesar's iron needs. And I'm dealing with his fish needs down here. And how am I on wood and stuff? Four. Ignoring those two there. Timber industry. Apparently I have four timber industries. Is that true? Uh, no, not timber industry. I need to check Ikea. We've got three of them. Oh, heaven help me if I can find them. There's one. just in case because I do use furniture and I'm not keeping very good track of how many is needed and how many is had how do the people feel the people still love me the people still pay me good taxes taxes cover all imports and that includes the very expensive wine that we had we still need to make some money though I'm not importing more wine am I no good but uh, we need to make our way through the rest of this 
year, so I'm going to crank up taxes. That prosperity is important to me. Need to stay in the black. I need to uh, I need Toga Boy off my back. And because these people are filled up with patricians, the tax income they pay is now through the roof. Look at that, 791 turn of the month. 791 goes up to... Come on, game, don't leave me hanging here. Uh, 900. Also, Rome has increased inflation yet again. There's just no stopping these people. Uh, that'll do. Let's drop taxes back down to something reasonable because people are getting less than happy about my tax system here. Okay. I know there is a stone next to the lake that can still be mined. Is there now? Well, this could be mined if I moved some things around here. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, I need to really be start thinking about enhancing my population. I see a few places that I can do so, and I will do so. It doesn't really matter if they don't get all the goods and services and whatnot, but I do at least want them to be fed. I think it would be cheaping out to just uh, tent spam our way to victory. But we do, we are just about on that prosperity. 65 out of 70. The favor is creeping up there. Let's give Toga Boy some stallions. And now he's only 10 away from loving us to death. And now I'm going to put in a lot of houses here. I don't particularly care if they merge or not. It's obviously better if they do, but I will accept if they do not. I'm more concerned about them getting uh, food. A small casa is actually a pretty good thing to get out of all of this. So I'm just going to shove in people and see what sticks. Again, I'm hoping that they're Casa, because if they become bigger than Casa, they're going to start eating my pottery, which I have too much of anyway, but I'd still rather have it than not, you know? Mergers are nice. Mergers are very nice. Uh, these people all get water, which is ultra nice. You are very unhappy there, because it's horrifically undesirable. I understand. Actually, it's nothing to do with desirability. You don't have water access. There you go. How about you? Well, you don't have water either. But, uh... Oh, oh, I can give you water. It's very undesirable living there because of all the marketplaces, but I'm doing what I can, Sunshines. The desirability actually helps me in a way. It keeps them from evolving too high. I don't want these people to evolve to, um... Uh, beyond small casa, because then they're going to start consuming pottery, and I don't want that. Pottery is... Uh, it's not a case of, oh, I don't have enough pottery, wah, wah, wah. It's a case of, I don't want my market ladies spending too much time going back and forth getting pottery for these pretty useless individuals. Can't stand useless people. Hey, these two actually grew to be small insulae, which is not what I wanted, but oh well. How's health, by the way? <laughs> very good. I'm surprised it's very good. Uh, there's nowhere near enough people for this push. But Rome is really cranking up their wages. Fortunately, it will not grow any more than that. That's as high as it goes. Unfortunately, all these new people are causing me to... Um, Hold that thought. There. All these new people are causing me to have more unemployment, which is causing more people to not want to live here. And these people don't get uh, market access at all. If they did, it would be a lot better. Also, Togo Boy wants my vegetables. It's a good thing I stacked up loads of veggies with him in mind. Uh, I think I forgot to tell you to accept meat. Wait, what? Does this fishing boat just not work? Oh, I think this fishing boat wants to go there because it's closer as the crow flies. But it can't get there, so it's not going to. That is bad news for me. Very bad news for me. 
Uh, you know what, my relation with Toga Boy is fine. He can, he can suck it when it comes to that fish. Yeah, time for a canal. That's the reasonable solution to this problem. A canal. I might have to make do with horrible... T no, no, we have food here. Of course. I don't need to settle for a tent. Anything. You guys get out of here. These people need food, though. Um, which necessitates a marketplace here, but that's not trivial. It means that one of you has to become a marketplace, and there's no good space for that. Da -dun, da -dun. Uh, I'm loath to lose this merger, but there you go. There's a reasonable chance that building here is going to ruin my amazing uh, grand villa loop, but let's just have things sometimes go. Now, as long as I have... Oh, how, how far does that water extend? Yeah, just not quite far enough. Almost, though. Very nearly almost. That's some good watering. Um, that wastes a lot of space. So I won't do it. These people can be well watered. Except for the ones that somehow make it into this place's watering range. Don't want you faffing around over there, so I will have the marketplace here. And let's just Right on in with people. It's not tent spam if they're going to become shacks, remember that. Here's your entire access to religion. Here's your entire access to desirability. Get in here. Oh, you won't actually spawn. You're going to despawn. You're going to... There we go. Almost seemed like I didn't know what I was talking about there. Well, the patricians are holding. If the patricians die towards the end of a run, your run dies because your your prosperity cap falls, and there is no limit to how far prosperity will fall in a mission. If your uh, prosperity cap falls from 100 to 5, then your prosperity will fall from 100 to 5. Okay, Rome is happy with the um, the vegetables. Rome is not happy with how I'm lagging behind on. Uh, the other stuff. These people can stay hovels, that's fine. Hovels still have pretty good occupancy. One hovel can hold 13 people per square. For what it's worth, these grand insulas hold 21 people per square. So a significant step up, but think about how much work it takes to get a grand insula than a crummy little hovel. Population grows, the fire rises. Uh, I do want these people to not be small tents because this sheer number of small tents could actually very negatively impact my um, my ratings and we care dearly about those I don't think I can quite reach you wells are undesirable neighbors but they're not that bad can't reach you bye bye all right, look at them grow. Look at them grow. Disgusting, shacky things. Except for the ones that have made it all the way to hobble status, because they can... These brave people make the hike up there to get their delicious water. And to them it is very delicious. Hell, these ones even became large hobbles because they have the entertainment access. Not a bad deal. Prosperity, don't let me down. I need that to hit 70 or I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble if it drops from 65, by the way. Phew! There we go. Prosperity is up and rising. The only thing we need is Caesar's favor. And some Egyptian glassware will help us out with that. 
and to just cram a couple hundred more people in. And considering that these places have space for a lot more people, oh yeah, I think we're there. I think we're done with the cherry on top. Jake, you're too benevolent. You make the peons live on a hill, and you put the well at the foot of the hill. That way they have to carry the bucket uphill. <laughs> You don't understand, the flow of water makes things so much easier. 4,800. Yeah, the last thing we need is that favor. And there's the iron Toga Boy. Toga Boy is happy. Toga Boy just wants his meat. And we're probably in a situation that I could get him that meat. I tell you to accept it, and I can tell us to stockpile it. A little worried about the food situation here, though. A little worried. We're straining it with all the extra people that we've added in here. You do accept the meat, right? Yeah, good. Do you? Yeah, you do, but I don't particularly want you to have that meat. You're too full of pottery. And that's making my people walk all the way over here to deposit the fish, but hey, it needs musk for Caesar. Oh, geez. you know, if I want Caesar to be happy, I could just give him yet more iron. Ah, screw it, I have ways to make Caesar happy. I'm not losing my entire city over this bleeding fish. Get the fish in the granary where it belongs. Get the population up. And let's get Caesar that iron, which we are still amassing here. Okay. Can't have gone this whole time without a drink. Let's fix that. <laughs> okay, so about that population. Ah. Even crummy shacks do need something quite important, and that is the engineer post. That's actually a little painful in the population. That's quite a few people that are just going to disappear. Risk, damage. Ooh, chabugger. Come on, relics, get to work. Sounds like he's laughing at them. I don't blame him. It's all very funny, isn't it? Okay, we were still able to squeeze some people in here, about 88 as I recall. And there is still space for a few more people in here. We can well water them. It should be desirable enough thanks to the temple, to Venus and the Actor Colony, both are desirable neighbours. Rome has increased the price of wine to make my imports that bit more expensive. How did these guys get food? I didn't give them a marketplace, did I? Oh, was it a marketplace that fell down? I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, I think it was a marketplace that fell down. That explains why it fell down faster than everything else. Uh -huh. There we go. Keep these people fed. I need the population in the city, not out of it. Um, this is a bit of a problem. I'm going to unwater you for a moment so that you merge. Hey, and then water back. There we go. That gives the capacity, and now we need fewer than 100 people, and favor with Caesar. He's not going to be happy about that lack of fish, but that's okay. I've got a cunning plan to deal with Caesar's unhappiness. Just need that population there. Boy, this is tight. It's not as tight as... Oh, Christ, what was that map I was playing recently that had no room whatsoever? Okay, I'd blocked it out of my mind. This isn't as tight as Pain. Islands of Pain was something else. Compared to it, this one has easily four times as much building space. No, more than that. Easily has eight times as much building space, let's say. Mm, easily? Yeah, easily. Uh, by the way, somebody did beat Islands of Pain. But this map is tight. 
they, I'm not sure how you'd go about doing this with 7,000 population. It's, uh, it's not so much the space, it's the food situation. Farms take up a lot of space and they're very inefficient on northern maps. The fish, now fish is fantastic, but the fish is also spread out here. And because fish is lowest on the priority for eating, that makes it a bit of a pain to feed people with. Yeah, somebody did beat Islands of Pain. Do I have that saved here? I think I only had it back home. Islands of Pain. Oh, right before I muck around on that, make sure that we're saved. I'm certain I was looking at it. Fair Isle Fix? Maybe I... Is it Fair Isle Fix? What the heck is Fair Isle Fix? Whose map is this? I don't recognize this at all. Anyway, trust me, it, it got beaten. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I've even been keeping the gods happy despite having god effects off. I didn't have to. No one's paying me for this. Alright, I think we're there. I think we're there. Last thing we need is just to keep Caesar happy, and he's just about there. Um, well, he's just about to get his iron, which will make him a lot happier. And yes, sans the Hippodrome, my city doesn't look too far off of this. As long as you look in the correct areas of it. Oh, okay, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Here you go. In fact, I better make my save here. Bergen complete. Ah, take it from me, the map is already done. It's just a click of one button. So, Atelwyn made this map, and apparently they've never played Caesar 3. They've just learnt the game from whatever I've streamed. And even so, and, and even with the added challenge of building a map based on an actual... Uh, location. They've done a wonderful job at a map here. It was very challenging in the best possible way for Caesar 3. Caesar 3 is not a war game. There are some maps that can be very challenging with the military and they're very good with it, but I don't think that's the game's strength. This game is a city builder. The challenge should be about building up your city, and this one certainly was. The landscape was rugged, the positions for putting down important goods and services were rough, the economy, yeah, we got it on track eventually, but uh, despite starting with a good amount of denarii, the economy was pretty tough. Um, this this place on the world map is not normally that difficult to deal with because you have got pottery that you can export and you've got furniture you can export, but those went down, inflation went up, and just the layout of the land did not make it easy to do that. Very difficult to find places to iron out um, goods to make weapons from difficult because of the food situation to build up a nice big tax base it was rough and that's what's so enjoyable this is my kind of challenge on a game yeah we, we seldom rotate our cities around there we go at least this way we can see the patricians right here the, none of it went as planned either uh we had to do this on the fly but i was somewhat thinking i'd get away with a lot more grand insulin than i did i'm still amazed and happy that this worked this is a tight space to get uh, that's not a lot of Grand Insulae, but it's some of them. I thought I'd have better patricians than this, but these guys were enough to pay the bills and get me the prosperity. Also, we are at our prosperity cap now, at 74. So if this were even just five units higher, I would have struggled on this map. Well, struggled more. I already struggled a fair bit. Great map, so thank you very much, Atelwyn, for this one. But tonight, this is my win. Here you go, Toga Boy. Take your African ivory and sod off.
Yeah, there we go. Once again, you've proven yourself to be one of Rome's finest governors. Or maybe I should be slightly higher rank than a clerk? I don't know. Let's go and check it out on the assignment editor so we can see it from the map maker's viewpoint. Cheers, says Athelwyn. Thanks for playing my map. It was undoubtedly my pleasure. A long time ago, I said, if anybody sends me a custom map they've made, I will play it on the stream. Uh, I feel a little bad because I'm pretty sure there are some that I've missed, not intentionally. Um, these things come and go, sometimes I get a lot at once, and uh, I, of course I don't keep them well catalogued. But you send me map, I play map, because I love this game. I would have thought maybe I'd get tired of it by now, but I've been playing this game since I found a demo disc in a PC gaming magazine back in 1990-something, so yeah. I'm not getting tired of this map anytime soon. So here's what our friendly map maker saw and put together. Really like what they did with all the rocks. There's nothing saying you have to make every part of your map usable. And using big rocks surrounded by uh, this elevated terrain thing stops the player from using it as a resource, but still makes it get in the way. And by that, I mean, where are rocks? I don't use this often. Here's how you build rocks. You just put it down, big brushes, small brushes, whatever you want. And it, it, it does this nice way of changing the look of it, depending on how you put it down. Um, but that is different from raised land, which is this. And raised land cannot be mined, unlike the rocks that it now contains. But this is what we had here, so let's uh, let's flatten that out. I'm showing my lack of uh, my lack of experience with the map building tool here. I have not made many maps. The only maps I've really made are for childhood Jake way back when. And uh, honestly, they were probably really casual maps. There we go. You also gave me a bit of fertile land here. Not that fertile, but that's okay. <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Don't know why I'm fixing the things I'm doing here. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, the map was really good. There are some things about it that are... You know, they could functionally be improved. Um, for one, fishing, fishing points on inland lakes like this, that's fine, but this one's completely unusable, and it just served to uh, cause an issue with this pathfinding. The layout makes me think that more fishing was intended, but, I mean, this area could only get three wharves at best. Maybe it was intended, maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but fishing points always need to be at least two, uh, two tiles of flat land next to each other like this, so this is okay, and this is not. Uh, so it certainly put pressure on me. I'm certain this was meant to be some kind of super fishing area, but because of this it was very difficult to use, because this is arse for building on. Oh man. I'm, I'm just looking at this thinking, how, do, how did someone make this as their first map? It's glorious! And again, the things I'm pointing out here are like little technical things I know because I've played this game for a gorillion hours. It's really well put together as maps go, though. Mm. Well, I hope... Uh, if you're, if you're not going to upload this to Caesar Haven, uh, I would ask for permission to upload it myself because I think this one needs to be seen by more of the world. And I'm also really interested to see other people's solutions to this. I can already in my head see different ways of doing this, um, especially with the, with the save file that we had, knowing that um, we couldn't farm for piggies really complicated the food situation. Oh right, my initial plan actually was to use this for making lots of pigs because pigs and fish mix together as one food type and that would stop me having issues where oh I can't mix my vegetables here because people eat all the vegetables and none of the fish. Uh, getting a little too esoterically sidetracked here. I allow you to upload it Jake but you should probably delete fishing bot 7 first. Uh, roger that. Roger that. Okay, that was great fun. That's all I've got for this evening, though. I've got another day of trying to find a place to live tomorrow. And again, if you are, or do know, a Hungarian estate agent, reach out and let me know, because I am here until I find a place to live. And uh, I'd like it to be sooner rather than later, because I really miss my computer and my full streaming setup. And I really miss playing Bannerlord. In any case, we'll see if we can't squeeze out some stream tomorrow after I'm done with the hunt. But until then, it is a cheers from me, and a cheerio.